Warding. We're back. Could all the members of the FAM locker room please get around? All right, folks, listen up. Tonight is one of the most monumental nights in our industry's calendar. Tonight is the night some of us have been waiting over 10 years for. It's the night where the entire world will be watching us. Where we show up and make good on everything we vowed to do. And we cannot allow this vermin to take away everything that we've built. And here's how we're gonna do it. Rannick will destroy Stigma in the bloody massacre match. Rannick will be decimated, whether it's by my hands or our secret weapon. Securing his number 30 spot in the Royal Rumble match. Making sure that pig goes straight to the number one spot in the Rumble. Ladies, you have the opportunity of a lifetime. L, you finally have the opportunity to shut the whole world up. Do yourself and this movement proud, and bring the title back to FAM! Make sure the night ends as it started, you holding the FAM Diamonds Championship. He's not standing among you all right now, but I believe in the Emperor! Status is nothing more than just a bump in the road. And I believe he can bring the FAM World Championship home to the place it belongs! Cameron Bash will have absolutely no issues whatsoever handling this little rat. Then, it's time for the big one. This is the one where the most is on the line. With the Royal Rumble victory. We would be able to dictate any match of our choosing at Fandiversary. And to put it bluntly, we cannot allow them to seize that power! We don't care which one of you walks out with the victory. It doesn't matter which one of you is the last man standing. By any means necessary. Do whatever it takes. Win, Win the Royal Rumble match. The Royal Rumble match! And now, in connection with the SmackDown Hotel, the movement is proud to present the FAM Royal Rumble. The road to Famniversary begins. Finally, after five long years, FAM take center stage as we continue to ascribe our history. After half a decade, we continue our journey, as tonight we will see gladiators collide for the crown, warriors defend their legacy, and two stars will etch their names alongside the cosmos, whose name will be remembered. Who is going to Famniversary? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Romar and it is a thrill to welcome you all to the FAM Royal Rumble. Coming up for you here tonight, for the first time ever, the women of Forever A Movement will compete inside of a 15 Diamonds Rumble match. But that's not all folks, as just like the first FAM Royal Rumble match 13 years ago, the title will be on the line. That's right. FAM Diamonds Champion L defends her championship in the ultimate challenge here tonight as she goes up against 14 other diamonds where we will once and for all finally have a true FAM Diamonds Champion. The championship action does not stop there however as after defeating the FAM Founder Guns in a despicable way mind you to become the FAM World Champion Cameron Bash makes his first title defense against a newcomer to FAM, the one they call the Emperor. Status! With this big status' first debut match at FAM, the weight of the pressure on his shoulders must be incomprehensible. But a similar thing can also be said for his opponent, Bash, who, if he doesn't win here tonight, his revenge plot against FAM 
could slowly start to be unraveled and crumble. With so much on the line for both sides, who will walk out as the FAM World Champion? Then, in the main event of the evening, the reason this event has become so iconic across the wider WWE Games community, the legendary FAM Royal Rumble match. 30 superstars from far and wide, including 2TM, Sean Nova, Pat Scry, Smack Talks, Assemble, Super, SoMG Barbecue, Kid Bandit, Robert Martyr, and many, many more will compete for the ultimate opportunity. And we will kick things off with the most personal bout. Stigma will take on the original Sin Renek in a bloody massacre match. With another stipulation added that should Renek be victorious, then he would enter the Royal Rumble match as the last entrant number 30. However, should he fail, then he would have to start the Rumble as the first entrant. If this was a straight up one on one contest, I can tell you that Renek is guaranteed to destroy Stigma and go on his way to dominate the Rumble match and earn that victory. But Stigma is coming in with the Switchblade Society. His army. It's basically an unofficial handicap match. It's the numbers game versus the unmatched strength of Renek. A man who is dead set on defending the legacy of his fellow fallen FAM founders. Black Heron, Andy Badwell, and Guns. Stigma has taken down those three founders and only one remains. But this one, this one is the original sin. The most dominating entity in the history of this movement. The man formerly known as Rat. So, I guess it's all out there. The part of my life that I tried so desperately to keep hidden from the world takes the pride. It's all anybody wants to talk about. However, before I get to the sins, there's another parasite that I need to deal with first, and it goes by the name of Stigma. Stigma, you ran over Alex in a vehicle. You brutalized Andy, gave Jermaine the cruelest of ultimatums, all before bashing the brains in with your baseball bat. What you have done is unforgivable. And at the FAM Royal Rumble, I will make you pay for your sins! How dare you stand there and tell all these people that what I did was unforgivable? Because my return to FAM wasn't so different from yours, was it? Rannick, I merely did the same thing you did. But the difference between us is I had a lot more to get off my chest. If you and the vermin you call as brothers never started FAM in the first place, None of this pain and suffering would have been inflicted upon the world. If you manage to beat me in our match at the Rumble, then you can be granted the grace of skipping all the way to the end and entering the Royal Rumble match number 30. If I beat you, then you have to start right at the very beginning and enter the Royal Rumble match number one. I'm not coming to the Rumble to play games! I know your little servants will be walking around, backing you up, doing whatever they can to get involved in the match. So I want them front and center where I can see them. I hope you're lying there in as much discomfort as you could possibly be, because that's the only taste of what's going to come at the rumble. To put it simply, Rannick, it's going to be a bloody massacre. There is going to be a no disqualification and it ain't those match! So bring your weapons, bring your men, grab any advantage you can. Because with the amount you've pissed me off, not even the whole world could stop me!
there he is, ladies and gentlemen. The self-proclaimed original sin of the outside world, Stigma, is about to attempt to complete his plan of vengeance as he tries to extinguish the last obstacle that stands in his way, the fourth founder, the FAM Original Sin, Rennick. And as part of the stipulation, folks, should Rennick defeat Stigma, then he will go and head into the Rumble as the number 30 entrant. However, should he somehow fail, then Rennick will have to begin as the number one entrant. However, despite Stigma coming in with the numbers game, I don't see that happening. There's a reason why he claimed the title as Rat when he was part of the Seven Deadly Sins all those years ago back at Aura. There's a reason why he is the most feared, the most formidable, the most dominant entity in our industry. And that's because that's the reality. And the reality is no force of raw strength can match up to his. Even Pride, the leader of Aura, even he admits that Rennick is physically stronger than him. But he's still able to one-up him because he is just so damn fast. He's just so damn quick. It's been said, even by Rennick, that nobody can lay a hand on him. He'll reverse anything. And that is why Pride is the only exception. But he's not here, is he? That man... Rennick is here, and Rennick, he is a proud FAM founder, and he is here to defend the legacy of his fallen brothers, Andy Badwell, BH, Guns. Andy Stigma going for the bat, the same weapon that took out Andy Badwell, Black Heron, and Guns, the fallen other three founders, and now he's looking to do the same on the original Sin. And here we go! Will it be enough to take down the most formidable athlete in FAM history? Will Stigma complete his plan of vengeance? The tension, oh you can feel it in the air as the original sin outside of the movement is about to face the original sin within FAM. And still, with the weapon in hand, he gets taken down by Rennick's own hands. Oh my God! And now, the pain begins. Oh my god, just picking him apart, throwing him like a rag doll. This is what I expected. I mean, even if the Switch Play Society should have expected this. I don't get what the gameplay is right now because think about just in for nothing but the whole match, a whole world of torment. Oh my lord, don't tell me. Reddick! He's looking to break Stigma already! Oh my god! And I can see it already! And they couldn't believe it either. Neither Penance or Rembrandt could just imagine that this was going to be the reality of the situation! Stigma! He just woke up! And he's realizing that his dream of conquest is going to turn into a nightmare! So far Stigma has fallen prey to the wrath of Rennick. Is the fourth founder just too much for Stigma to bear? Is his strength just too much? And there's your answer folks! <laughs> he just shoved Stigma! Oh, on a strike on Rennick now. Rebound! And... He catapulted him! He threw him up like a kite! And he's not done yet! Oh, this is just 
trademark Renick electric chair into the German suplex, following it up for what we all know, the full Nelson slam with authority. And Stigma slip, oh he's busted open, already from the mouth as you can see, and not only that, his brain cells, his brain must be rattled, as Renick is telling him to bring it. Stigma give it to him, he's not backing down. Oh, but he just got placed back down by Renick. With pure ease, just a simple shoulder tackle. Stigma, not giving an inch, but neither is Renick. Oh, into glory! Stigma finds an opening. And he continues to get Oh, <laughs> I don't know who came up first. Oh, Renick dodged that, and he dodged another kick. And this time he grabbed the foot. What the? Oh, chokes them. Wait, he's not done. He's not done. Powerbomb. What a malicious combination from Renick. And you can feel he's just getting started. He's not even attempting to go for the pinfall. He wants to hurt Stigma. He wants to punish him for what he did to Guns, to Black Heron, to Wendy Badwell. Oh no, oh no, he's actually gonna take him out! If he hits it, it's over! Punt kick! Oh! Stigma dodged a bullet! You will bleed, Greg! Stigma looking to his Switchblade brothers, trying to form some sort of a game plan. Wait a minute now. Cannons have been bred on opposite sides of the apron. Oh, it was only a matter of time before the numbers game came to fruition. Oh, but Rick, not gonna allow that to even happen. Not gonna allow that to even start. Oh, Papa, power slam on Pennant. Oh, and a close line by Van Brett. Rennick getting up immediately, though, however, dodges the other strike and a strikes. Oh, and he tosses him over the top rope. Van Brett is out. And a strike with a chair. <laughs> oh my lord. He ate that chair shot and bounced him with his own head. Van Brett, though, already back up. Renick is not a big man, actually. That is actually well known. However, he has a straight of a hundred of them. Look at that. Wait, hold on now. Van Brett taking advantage of his longer limbs, striking down Renick with fisticuffs. Renick retaliating, but so does Van Brett picking Renick up. What the hell? Oh, he was going for something, but Renick with elbow shot after elbow shot reverses, and so does Van Brett once again. Strike after strike. Oh. Giant with one arm and Stigma! Stigma got caught! Fall away, slam! Oh, this is just pure carnage. Van Brett woke up, but Renick has yet to fall down. Oh, look at these two just throwing strikes left and right until one of them goes down. Renick retaliates strike after strike, and I think that did it. Backbreaker! Wait, Stigma with a chair shot! Oh! Renick's still up! Renick's still up! Holy hell! Oh, sh! Renick swung the chair! And he busted open Stigma! Oh, wait! Renick gets the same treatment! He just entered Wonderland! Oh my god, Van Brett! Holy hell! Another one! That crept over the skull and he wants another one! Renick obliges! And he has turned Van Brett's head into a crimson art gallery! Stigma! Stigma! I'm surprised he's back! And look at that result of the chair shot! I like give him credit, he's fighting back! Oh, and a kick! Still not knocking down Renick! Oh, that one did! Original sin! Oh, the, the baseball bat! The baseball No! Renick catches Stigma! And now sitting up for the... GTS was no oh, Stigma! Retaliates with an inverted DDT! He's setting up! He's setting it up! The Carbon Jack 
Reaction on Rennick! Oh, <laughs> oh this seems to work! One of Stigma's endgame moves only resulted in a one count, and Stigma needs to figure out another way to hit another one really quick! Rennick immediately back up, but Stigma flies and gets caught! Is Rennick actually gonna go for it? The GTS or sleeping build? Oh, Stigma! No! Rennick! He actually hits it! The GTS! And this is it! Oh! I'll give it to Stigma! He hangs in there! But I think that was a dumb move. He's gonna stay down, because that just gives Rennick more opportunity to punish him! Yes, he will! With the sleeping kill! One, two, it's all... Yo, come on! Penance! Give it to him, Rennick, give it to him! Punish him like there's no tomorrow! Oh, here comes Ben Brett, though. This went by society! And he hits him with the hammer! Rennick valiantly getting back up, however... Van Brick and Penance are not done! Oh my god! That didn't take Rennick off his feet! And Stigma! Oh! Smart play from Stigma! And Stigma takes advantage with a double X handle from the apron! Hold on now! Stigma with the ladder! Okay, yeah, that's it, gonna come to a play, but that was a mistake! He took his eyes off Rennick, he's gonna pay the price! with a suicide dive right on the original sin. Van Brett now sending up a letter. I, I, I don't know what the hell they're planning, but it's not going to be good for Rennick if he continues to be the victim of the numbers game. But, as you can see, it's hard to tell who's the victim here with all these crimson masks. Why Rennick may even have like a drop of blood. But man, Van Brett is dishing it to Rennick. No, wait, wait. Don't tell me! Package pile driver! On the ladder! Oh! And the brain buster! On the same weapon! Two finishers on Reddick! On steel! And they're not done! What the hell? No, don't tell me! Don't tell me! The burning hammer! Stigma! Stigma! Wait! Into a burning hammer! Oh man, if there's a combination to end Rennick, it's that one! Four big endgame moves on Rennick! Onto the ladder! And this is it! What? What? Rennick! Oh no! And Stigma goes! For the original sin! On! The original sin! And he goes for the cover! And still! Still the result is the same! Sometimes I feel like we're the bad guys! With red strength on our side! Holy! But instead of whining, and instead of crying, they're going for something else! And I have a feeling it's something much, much larger! And much more deadlier for Rennick! Hold on now. Another Brain Buster finisher on Rennick! And Stigma! Hold on. Dead from above! And Rennick! Rennick still kicks out! He got the two count! But he still kicks out! And he still gets back up! Only to be struck back down! They're getting close to finishing off Rennick though. And I think that would do it. The baseball better took out all the other founders. If it strikes Rennick, it's over. Rennick, look out. Oh my god. He just sent Stigma flying. But Van Brett comes back with a spear. And Rennick comes back. He gets up. Toss his pedant! And Finn Brett gets caught for a GTS! Pedant! Oh wait! Pedant gets the table, but Finn Brett! Finn Brett! Eats another GTS!
Tigres. Oh. The infernal glaze has engulfed this arena. And now. Took on Reddick! That actually. I'm sorry! That taste, Reddick! But penance! Penance is more than taste! Penance! He's so. Oh my. Oh my. Reddick, you better get up! Van Brett! Setting up another table! This time, mine! No! Believe that. Reddick got back up. Vampire with a steel steps. Oh, but Reddick! Reddick catches him and sends him over to the barricade. Oh, God. Oh, no. The barricade goes down, and so does Van Brett. Pat is from behind. Oh, he took Reddick by surprise, dazing him momentarily and dragging the original sin. Onto the... Where the hell are they going? Oh no, there's a table there! Reddick! Oh! Oh! Reddick wakes up! And that's bad news! For parents! Uh-oh! Set him up! Knock it! Oh! And that's gotta be the end for parents! Hold on now, Van Brett! Van Brett! Still not done! He still wants to dish out some hurt! But it's that Reddick! Pavement! And that's it! That's gotta be it! For Van Brett! And now he's going after the head of the snake! But Stigma! Oh, he's got him! He's got Reddick with the forearm shot! Is he going for it? Is he actually gonna go for the original sin? Oh, but Reddick! Even though I'm sure he can take it, he doesn't wanna taste another one! Stigma's all alone! <laughs> FEM will fall. You can't stop us. So do your worst, for I will do mine. <sighs> You're fing nothing. You hear me, Rannick? Nothing. Your mother, Lisa, would be ashamed of you. will be the last thing that comes out of your vile mouth. Everything you've done by trying to destroy FAM will be undone. Because Stigma, you are irrelevant and weak as you've always been. <laughs> Rennick. You. Finish it, Rennick. End it. Once and for all. It is you. That's the same uniform you had on when I destroyed you. Thirteen years of hiding, and here you are, for revenge. It doesn't matter if I'm exhausted. You will fall to me once again. Oh my god! Is that, is that really nine? He, he knocked down Reddick! Again! Hell, it's nine actually. He's running the same attire as Reddick, but from underneath. What the? Oh my god. Oh my. What the hell is this Switchblade Society member? What the? 
Redick knows him, but... Rat. Rat. You want your name back? You can have it! Rat! Rat! That's... That's the original rat! He just tore... Renick's armor! And also his face! Oh my god, no! No way! Oh my, what am I witnessing? That's the original rat! That Redick beat! 14 years ago, in order to take his name and become part of Aura! Holy sh! Rick, getting up? No! No! Oh my god! I have to. On the ladder! Rick's buddy! Dominator! Nine's finisher! That's it! Frenick, that's it! I can't believe this! Frenick! Broken body and all! Getting up and fighting back! Come on, Frenick! Come on! You beat it before! You can crush him again! Do it, Frenick! Come on, Jackson! Oh no! No! Wait! The baseball bat! Oh my god! No! Stigma telling nine, or should I say, the original rat. Oh, he wants to make sure two baseball bats weren't enough. No. No! The original sin! Don't believe this. No. What just happened? What just... Rat. The original rat. From 14 years ago. That Renick defeated. In order to claim the title. To join the seven deadly sins. Has come back. And he is back. Alongside Stigmas. Clan of Vengeance! And Vengeance! He has truly achieved! And after... So many... Deadly moves on Renick... Such an uphill battle against the numbers game! One baseball bat took out the founder. Reddick took two in the head. Still stood up on the first one, but the second one. That was it. But the stigma wanted to make sure and send a message by pinning Reddick with his version of the original sin. The original rat's plan. Stigma's conquest of taking down the four founders officially has resulted in Renick now. He's not done. He has to start the Rumble match later tonight as the number one entrant. 
the way. There's just no way. The seven deadly sins are now whole again. Thanks to nine. All this time was the original wreck. No! No! Consider this beating as a reminder to stay out of the way. After FEM is in ashes, and in all the years to come in your most private moments, I want you to remember my face. I want you to remember the man who beat you. The original sin. Four down! It's only you left, Rob Buster. I know you're too much of a coward to show face. But when a member of our family wins the Royal Rumble later tonight, our match at Fanniversary will all be set in stone. And the end of days will finally be upon you and what's left of forever a movement. I'll see you soon. It's time to turn up the heat. It's already hot, though. Oh, yeah? Well, it's about to get even hotter with the public enemies. Should we tell them? Tell them? They should already know by now. You guys know about Forever A Moment? They about to have their fifth fam Royal Rumble ever. And guess who just got invited? Boys and girls, you already know what this means. We about to enter the Royal Rumble match and throw every single one of those other big fellas over the top rope. Big boys like Smack Talks, Grimm's Toy Show, Haroon Twins, they all gonna go bye bye. And we gonna be the last men standing and take that fan world championship shot. Mic drop, bitches. We got a major announcement to make. The public enemies will be the special guest host of Famniversary 5. I was actually hoping my eyes were deceiving me. But the reality is that... Is that... I don't even know what's going on anymore! 
that giant force of nature within the Switchblade Society that went by the name Nine, he, all this time, was the original rat. The same man that Renick defeated all those years ago to take his title and become part of the seven deadly sins with an aura. I can't believe I'm saying this, but he broke Renick. As a result, I'm being told Renick has suffered not just a black eye, not just 25 stitches in the forehead, and also the worst of them all, Renick has suffered a major torn trapezius. A torn trapezius! But despite of that, I'm also being informed that Renick refuses to back down and wants to compete in the men's rumble match later tonight. And that is absolutely ridiculous because now, as per the stipulation of his match before, Renick has to start at the very first spot as number one. However, speaking of the Royal Rumble, ladies and gentlemen, we have to move on and focus on history truly in the making as we get set to witness the first ever Diamonds Royal Rumble match. And this one is for all the marbles. This one is for the crown of the Diamonds division as Elle gets set to defend her championship in a 15 women Diamonds Royal Rumble. Will the Wicked One be able to achieve the impossible and survive this tsunami of warriors? Or will a new battle-hearted queen be crowned? Well, well, well. <laughs> Isn't it about time you all got to bear witness to this sight? At long last, the wicked one stands before you as the FAM Diamonds Champion. <laughs> Cry and whine about the way I got this championship all you want. I have been screwed and robbed of this opportunity ever since the championship was introduced. The only way I was going to get this title was if it was screwed and robbed from the system that tried to keep me from it. If you thought I was going to hide behind this championship and not try and defend it, you've got another thing coming. That is why I'm proud of the fact that at this year's Royal Rumble event, for the first time ever, FAM will host a 15 Diamonds Royal Rumble match where the winner will go on to Famniversary to challenge me for my FAM Diamonds Championship. And with it, the greatest championship reign in all of FAM will begin. <laughs> Well, you may have fought hard throughout your career, but you did not earn that FAM Diamonds Championship. Unfortunately for you, we're not going to wait until the anniversary for you to defend that title. Because not only are you going to be defending the Diamonds Championship at the FAM Royal Rumble, but just like the first Rumble match in FAM's history back in 2010, the title will be on the line. My name is Angelina Cordial, and although my time as FAM Diamonds Consultant didn't really work out, <laughs> I'm back. And this time, the only thing that I'll be consulting is my own rise to the top. My name is Valkyrie, and for the last three years, I've done everything I could to get my big break in this community. I can proudly say that I've made it in the Diamonds Royal Rumble match. But this isn't a moment that you want to be involved in because all you are in this situation is just another number. For there is only one person in this movement who deserves to be called the FAM Diamonds Champion and that is the Wicked One. <laughs> and by the end of the night, we will finally crown the rightful Diamonds Champion. It is time to make history. It is now time for the first ever Diamonds Royal Rumble match. The following contest 
is the 15 Diamonds Royal Rumble match. And it is for the FAM Diamonds Championship. In this match, two diamonds will start inside the ring. Every two minutes, a new diamond will enter. In order to be eliminated, a diamond must be thrown over the top rope and both feet must touch the floor. The last remaining diamond will win the match and be declared the FAM Diamonds Champion! Introducing first, from London, England, the Millionaire Woman, Angelina Cordier! Well, if it isn't fitting, the former FAM Diamonds consultant has to enter at number one. Well, let me explain why she is now the former FAM consultant. Because she left FAM back in 2021, just like the vast majority of the roster, because they lost faith in a general manager Rob Buster. But let's not get into politics as to why that actually happened. But now, she has returned, and now after staring and confronting Elle a few weeks ago, she's more than ready to take over and become the Diamonds Champion. To which, by the way, I would welcome with open arms, because any woman, any other woman, is better at handling the scepter of the Diamonds Division than Elle. And you want to talk about scepters and diamonds? Oh, Angelina comes from riches. Angelina is very used, very used to handling all sorts of treasures. But winning the Diamonds Championship? Oh, it's nothing's more grander than that when it comes to being here in FAM and especially being here as an FAM Diamond. Riding through the twilight This armory protects my heart Introducing the superstar who drew number two from Helsinki, Finland, Valkyrie! Oh, I'm the hottest free agents in the entirety of the WWE Games community. Valkyrie! Also, she made one hell of an impact a few weeks ago when she and then she confronted L went well, let's just say worlds collided. But tonight we're about to see which one of these planets, which one of these worlds will become a supernova. Valkyrie and Angelina have to be the Iron Woman in order to even have a, a chance of claiming that championship. And that's not a spoiler, that's just a fact. You know, it's a, in order for these two to win, they have to at least survive until the last entrance. And believe me, that's much easier said than done. I agree with the audience here. Witnessing history unfold in front of your eyes, it is awesome. And I'm very proud to call this. It begins! The first ever FAM Diamond Royal Rumble! Angelina, I believe, trying to give her some sort of mental edge. But Valkyrie, she's one of the most loved, she's one of the most admired athletes in the history of this entire industry. So, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, but that kick would definitely work. Oh, look at that, a dodge. And another reversal from Valkyrie. And another one from... Man, I think we're about to see one hell of a fight and one hell of an action-packed roller coaster. Speaking of roll, that fireman's roll by Angelina. I wish him all oh, with another dodge and a knee strike. A knee strike by Valkyrie. Just, just to show that she might have not just Angelina's number, but everybody. But you can't count Angelina just yet out. Bicycle kick, reversal, and a close line. Another one with whiplash effect on Valkyrie. And what? Bulldog? No, arm drag. The athleticism of these two diamonds is like to smash that. Oh! I think. Yeah. 
If that didn't come cause Valkyrie, then Valkyrie's head must be made of titanium. Oh, but Valkyrie! Maybe flying her way out of here! Oh! Not yet! Not yet! Oh, baby! Oh no! Cross body, but then she intercepted it! And out she goes! Oh. Valkyrie! From the top of Mount Olympus lands a missile drop kick! Who's gonna enter the fray in the first ever Diamonds Royal Rumble? You can't be serious! You can't be serious! You... It's... Jin! Jin is back! The former FAM Diamonds Champion! Hey, hey, now, now, before we get too excited, she used to be part of AWOL. So, yeah, the fans can admire our reward. She, 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 she could be cahoots with Cameron Bash, for all I know. So, let's see who her alliance is with, if she even has one. And it looks like Angelia does not care who she's with. She knows that whoever comes in her way, she can handle it. Oh, she wanted first dips at the returning Jin, but instead, an arm drag judo hip toss by the former Diamond Champion. Hold on now, Irish whip reversal and a gut kick. Reversal again by Valkyrie. Valkyrie, hey, hey, we're gonna talk about Pride being the one that can't be touched. Apparently, Valkyrie. Oh, never mind. She not only did she get touched, she got bamboozled. Forearm shot from Jin. And a knee strike onto the nose. The bridge of the nose on oh, poor Valkyrie. Valkyrie on the ground. And Angelina gets whiplashed courtesy of the boat of Jin. Oh, Valkyrie. Valkyrie. I don't know what happened there, but it, with a roll trapping Jin's arm, I think. Yeah, that made her trip. But those kicks, the only thing that's going to be tripping right now are those brain cells from Jin. And I can't even keep up. These two are going back and forth. But again, only one of these three could, and I repeat, could end up leaving here with the Dynasty Championship. Oh, watch out, watch out for Angelina! Air Angelina lands! Herself, Nicole Hale Sanchez. She was announced a few weeks ago back on the FAO Twitter, which by the way, you, Twitter.com forward slash at the movement XX. What, you got a problem with us plugging our own Twitter at our own show and our own YouTube channel? Okay, fine, whatever. Cancel me. <laughs> you tried, you tried to do that, did you? Ah, uh, but one thing's for sure Nicole here is gonna try her damnedest, her try her hardest to become the FAM Diamonds champion, and she very well could. Anything can happen here in FAM, and believe me, when it comes to athleticism, Nicole is one of the top tier. And what? Oh my! Oh my! She! 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 She doesn't give a damn! She just wants it! Oh! Does she want it as much as Jin? Jin tasted victory before, but instead, she gets a taste of the mat with that belly to belly slam by Sanchez. Valkyrie! Search of the sky only to get caught from electric chair! Oh, Frankenstein and pile driver at the neck of Sanchez. Oh, oh man, the hailstorm just got rocked right there. Now let's see who's going to enter at number five. herself Daphne there's a reason why she was the first diamond to be announced in the Royal Rumble match and that's because she's not just a star she is the damn sun itself but tonight her fire can burst into a solar flare if she can come out on top and become the FAM Diamonds Champion 
Nicole hanging on by a thread nearly. Yeah, oh, speaking of Nicole, Nicole, man, she's going right back to work. And it seems like Daphne! Oh, uh, okay. Nicole had her number, but Daphne! Daphne! Springboard! Drop kick! Hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh man! Making it an incredible impact from the get-go! Eyes in the back of her head! Daphne! Daphne is on a roll! Oh, you talk about two massive stars. Oh, ho, ho, that's what the rubble is all about. Angelina and Daphne, go and get it. Angelina, she's going for the taste of riches. She did. Wait, Daphne, she rolled out of it and with a shattering Samoan drop. Oh, Nicole, Nicole Sanchez, going for it. Oh, she's going to eliminate. She's going to eliminate. Daphne, Daphne, better hang on. Oh, no. Nicole is out of here! Sanchez, the first diamond eliminated from the Rumble match! Oh, okay. It seems like the people here are not a fan of the Queen of the South, Kaidi Lavao. Well, listen. Let's let's be fair here. Okay, she may be arrogant, she may be, you know, a bit cocky, but you know, every diamond in that ring definitely is. You gotta have self-confidence. However, she likes to talk a little smack. And maybe she have crossed the line once or twice before, and maybe the fans remember. Especially if all these fans are from Twitter. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm going there, folks. Maybe she's just a victim of a false narrative. Who knows? But, hey, I could be wrong. Maybe the fans are right. Maybe. My God, did you hear that? Ma the fans here, uh, at least we know there are some fans who admire her. Oh, that could have been the end of Daphne's dream. But instead, Kylie interjected, and as a result, she's feeling the wrath of Angelina. Oh, man. How many diamonds do we have so far? I think in this ring we have around five. Because the call was limited, that's right. Basic math here, folks. Oh! Speaking of basic math, 15 minus 6 equals 9. We got nine more entrants left. Oh, so... Despite the momentum that Kylie has right now, she still is going to be... Oh my! I was gonna say victim! She might be the victim of an elimination right now! Right now! Valkyrie on the verge of getting her first elimination! And it seems like the victim would be Kylie Lavao! Daphne, she might end up being a victim as well if she continues feeling the assault of Jin! Jin! Oh! Kylie! Saving herself from elimination. And a dropping for good measures as we await lucky number seven. Oh man, you have no idea how high and excited I am for the outcast herself. Bree George, she has been in FAM for the longest of time, waiting for opportunity like this. And the fans would love to see nothing more than to have Outcast herself end up as the FAM Diamonds Champion. The glasses come out, and the attitude changes. Bree George, the Outcast is going to cast herself away and shine. Diving knee strike onto Jin. Oh, the Ukio! Down goes Kylie Laval. Hey, wait! Oh! No! Come on! Oh, God. damn it, man! Damn it! I, this, this is the danger of the heartbreak of a Royal Rumble match, but just like that, it could be all over in a snap. Oh, Bree! I'm sorry. To say I'm devastated is an understatement, man! What? The bunker ain't just used! What did she use? She used Jin! It's a bouncing pad! 
And Daphne, she used the ring as one, only to... Never mind, she dodged the kick, she dodged the kick, and... She, Hurricanrana, whips Valkyrie over the top rope, and Valkyrie hung on. Valkyrie, getting back up, that's dangerous, that's dangerous, and here's why! Super Spanish Fly! By Miss Starstruck! Oh, I think she's speaking of Starstruck. She's going to set up the Starstruck kick. No, but instead she got kicked by Valkyrie. And Valkyrie eliminates all. Daphne, damn. What an outstanding blitz performance by Daphne. But the Starstruck couldn't strike gold. Sugar! Kaida's here? Hey, hey, hey! Man, it's been so long! She... She... She was part of this community since the, the golden years, man! Holy hell! Sorry, just felt a bit of nostalgia there for a second! SBR Sugar is here! And she's here to whoop ass and grind that gold! Sugar Twist! Oh, I haven't seen that in ages! Oh, and oh man, there's nothing more I would love than to see this woman become our queen! Hell yeah, I'm all for that! Kyla going right back on Angelina! Knee strike! Angelina intercepted that! Take off Angelina, she's going for it! Taste the riches! On Kyla! Oh, and Kylie now! Get caught! Leg! Oh no! Oh no! She calls that figure four the Made in China! Cause she's gonna break those legs like they were fragile toys from China! Oh man look at that! And she's not done! She's bridging it! You can see Angelina right now and SVR Sugar Kyla! Her dreams could be a thing of the past! Just like the SVR titles! Which is a shame! Oh! Oh Kyla hanging on! Come on Kyla! Man, if I had a betting girl here, it would be Kyla. Just for nostalgia purposes, and obviously as a friend. Ah, oh, man, Kyla's still hanging on. The camera's not showing it, but man, I'm invested in that girl. Come on, Kyla. I oh, speaking of Kyla, Kylie on the verge of being eliminated. Please welcome. For the very first time here at FAM, Charlotte Monroe. Now, yes, I am happy for her entrance, but I think I might have actually found someone that's actually more hated than Kylie. Because Kylie Laval might be just a victim of some internet story. I've seen Charlotte here do some real dastardly things outside of FAM. So, yeah, I'm sorry, I, there's no defense for Monroe here. Oh, and Monroe saving Kylie Laval and Speaking of her, Laval just kicked the everlasting crap out of the Valkyrie's face. Whoa! Springboard Bulldog by Charlotte Van Rosen. Kylie Laval and Charlotte. Hold on now. Are we actually going to see some sort of alliance here? Between the two? Oh, Angelina. Not waiting to find out. As she's got Van Rose for the DDT. No! Mel Rose reversing at that one. You can see Jin in the corner working on one of the other diamonds. You couldn't tell. Backstabber! Oh, wait! So it's true! Suplex into the corner! The Alliance! Okay, now I get it. Now I see why. Now I see why Kylie Lafau is hated. Okay. Oh, what a right hook! But yeah, sorry all that I doubted you, but. Well. What can you do? What can any of these diamonds do now? It's now an unstoppable alliance just manifested here. SVR Sugar, Kyla, and Jin work on one corner, but the story for now is we got ourselves an official duo. And not in the good way for the rest of the diamonds. Jin, however, doesn't seem to care. She's ignoring, which is a bad idea. See what I mean? She ignored Melrose and Laval, and she's paying the price for it. Kyla! Kyla! Shot after shot, SVR Sugar! Oh, she's giving them 
An old school beatdown. Oh no, Charlotte trying to lock in SVR Sugar, but Kyla sends down Melrose with a close line. Now we're about to teach you how we did it in the old days, Sonny! Get her! Valkyrie takes up crossbody! Roll up! Oh! Woo! Monkey flip on the princess herself! Oh, kick on. Wait, Melrose up and over! As as we are sugar sauce! No! Damn it, Melrose! <laughs> Maybe one diamond that can even the score and even the playing field is the athletic diamond herself, an incredible jewel of an athlete, Andy Jaden. She won the hearts of the entire community, but now she's looking to cement her legacy by winning the FAM Diamonds Championship and the first ever Diamonds Rumble. Oh, Valkyrie gets a taste of a dropkick. As Andy Jaden, oh, oh, Melrose gets a taste of Jaden's kick. And now, Kylie Lavau gets a taste of her shoulder. Oh, and that's just a pure taste, a small taste, I should say, of Jaden's ability. Look at that. Like a bouncing spring, left, right, up, down. You can't keep your eyes out of Jaden Jaden's ability. No way, no way. Jaden is one of a kind to say the very least and uh, the people oh they're all for it oh oh and they're all for Melrose elimination oh yes they are and unless Kylie can get up and save her partner it's not oh well there you go there you go Kylie not willing to lose her other half seems like oh now Jaden they're setting up Jaden for the don't stay the vice oh just like that, Jaden's chances might have just went down to zero. Thanks to this test of the alliance. Oh man. Ooh, Jin. Jin has suffered plenty. But according to Levao and Melrose, not enough. With an entree of kicks. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Speed of kicks. Reversal. And now against speed of kicks. How does it feel? How does it feel? Oh, body shot. But Bobby catches the legs. And she's targeting the face of Lefau. You know those fans earlier that were admiring her? Yeah. Oh, I think they're feeling sympathy right now. Because her face might as well be broken. Oh, but Melrose over there taking the opportunity. Because the numbers game has officially caught up with Valkyrie. Valkyrie, listen, I'll be frank. She is one hell of a classy individual, unlike these other ones over here. Kylie and Charlotte. Yeah, I'm gonna be real, real for a second. Come on, man. You seriously want these two to become the FAM Diamonds champion? Really? Really? Get the hell out of here. Come on. They're a PR nightmare. Come on. These, these can't be role models. These, we'd, we'd be blackballed just anywhere. It's dangerous, but not as dangerous as Angelina's chances of becoming the Diamonds Champion. I think they're about to go extinct right here. As... Oh no, oh no. Oh, 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 oh wait, Angelina hung gone. Oh, 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 well, this, she is the reason why I got called out on social media years ago. She, oh man, let's just say I have a, a bunch of posters in my old room of her. And uh, yeah, you can't blame me, can ya? And I hope she's here to not just clean house, but also wreck sh Ah, man, look at that. She, she, she may have even uh, loosened my tongue there for a second. Oh, man. Melro! Melro! Oh! Get her! Lacey! Lacey! Get her! There's only one top b in this community, and Lacey, you have my vote! And I think she has Angelina's vote too, because she just saved her ass! And I think Angelina appreciates it. Well, I hope she does. Oh, yes! And now a blonde alliance is formed! Take that! 
Angelina saying, how does it feel, Kylie? How does it feel, Melrose? Oh, speaking of Melrose, she's about to get tossed out by Lacroix. Oh, 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 not yet, not yet. Oh, and I'll tell you why not yet. Because apparently, they're in for double trouble. They're in for a taste of, oh, they're a taste of. That's a wonderful taste. You want to talk about the dynamic duo, the two blonde bombshells. Oh yeah, Lacey and Angelina talk about a dream team. And you can only see stuff like this only in an FAM Royal Rumble. Wait, these two setting up. Taste the riches and the crux bomb. Is this the end for Charlotte and Kylie? Oh, I believe so. Yes, yes. <laughs> Four diamonds remaining in the ring. Oh, but Lacey, as you better watch out for Jin and Andy. As I mentioned, there were four left in the ring. However, we are not close to seeing who's going to enter at number 12. <laughs> She is one of the most recent people announced for the match, Bebe Michelle. She, oh, she likes to be called a Bebe Michelle. I apologize. Is that a French term for attention seeking desperation? Because, hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> Bebe over here, you should just, just see her social media account. All she does is just post pictures about, you know, her assets and her some fine angles. Obviously, you know, it's just. Uh, okay. The others do so as well, but not to this extent, and the people here can feel it. She just believes that the whole world, especially the social media world, revolves around her. Just like how that face revolved around Andy's kick. Oh, wait a bit now. Speaking of Andy, her jaded no! She missed. And Bebe over here, going to pick up the scraps on not just Jaden, but also Valkyrie. Again, even when she's doing any ounce of offense, she's showing off. She's just trying to get the approval of her sex appeal. That's what it is, man. That's why people just don't accept her as an athlete. Because she doesn't want to be seen as one. She wants to be seen as this arousing goddess. And like these two serious athletes who are fighting for not just the gold, but for their livelihoods. Jin, a former Divas champion, tasted it all before, just like how she's tasting the kicks and the offense from Angelina, but now it's time for Angelina. Oh man, these two going back and forth where not even my mouth can keep up. A kick from Jin. Oh man, it seems like Jin. Yes, she has the upper hand, or the upper foot, I should say, as Angelina dazed from ropes. And you got a lion was about to pay off, I was going to say, but Jin. Jin Sasha! Jin Sasha! Amazing! Jin has been eliminated from the FAM Royal Rumble match. Ah, oh. oh man. Number 13 is right. We're very unlucky. Because here comes the wicked Diamonds Champion of Cameron Bash's so-called family. One of the collectors of the rings, Elle. Elle can complain all she wants that Rob wants her to defend her championship in a Royal Rumble match because she didn't even earn that championship to begin with. Now it's time to prove once and for all if she is the one above all the other women, above all the other athletes, above all the other diamonds. If she is the brightest one, if she is the most formidable one, if she is indeed the queen she claims to be. And the audience definitely letting their feelings well known here. Oh, Jin and L have history. Well, that, okay, that puts a theory to rest that she's with Cameron Bash's alliance anymore. Elle and Jin used to be partners under the same group, but apparently there's no love loss between these two, so that's a 
unfortunately for us, a good sign. L, however, refusing to even get into the ring and prove to us once and for all how talented she is or how talented she claims to be. I'm sorry. Yeah, first she insults Jin, and now she's acting all pretend. <laughs> Jin, speed up, Jin. The former Diamond Champion attacking the current Diamond Champion. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and now L finally enters the Lioness Den. Oh, I do not want to be L right now, as all of the other Diamonds are aiming to destroy her. And you know what, baby? Okay, you get my vote on that one. This is the nightmare that L has been dreading ever since Rum announced her fate. Your punishment. There's no saving L now. Dominatrix of the Seven Sins. Oh man, on Lacey. Just reversing anything that comes her way. She, Lacey, can she strike? No! Once again, the Dominatrix dominating. Lust deems herself as the most powerful and sexiest woman on the planet. And you can tell, even the fans, the fans, some of them are even aroused by this. I mean, oh no, Lacey, Lacey's gone. The self-proclaimed most desirable woman on the planet has... What? What? She's, she's an old hag. Last is, she looks like Isma. There were some men out here that were aroused by her, but that's the sin of lust for you. Oh man, they must be feeling really dirty now. But regardless, listen, listen, that is just even more insane. This old woman is the strongest female on the planet and she's whooping all these girls' asses by herself. That grandma. Oh no, and Angelina, Angelina's gone. Wait. Only one of her foot touched the floor, the other foot is touching the abdomen of Lacey! Original 
one of the first women that walked in that ring so that the diamonds can run. Sinful Crystal, the last entrant in the FAM Royal Rumble. Oh, and Lost is staring down at her. Hey, the only one that can take down the sin is the sinful one herself, Crystal. Oh, Crystal dodges the kick. Oh, but so does Lost. Lust was going to pick up Crystal, but Crystal all oh, again! Lust! A veteran in the combat zone, but so is Crystal! Oh, Crystal! She got Day of a Rose as Lust dodges and dishes out a neck breaker! Oh man, this, this old tiger, whatever you want to call her, she's merciless! In Cordia Wreck showing us why she is deemed the submission specialist just wrenching the whole body of the FAM legend Crystal might have been shattered damn man no wonder Redick deemed her the strongest woman she oh no Crystal Crystal watch out yes she dodged it crystallized kick Flight of Valkyrie! And then Jolina! Taste the riches! Yes! Yes! Last! Last! It took three women to eliminate her, but I don't care! The sin is out of here! Wicked witch! That's right, give it to her fair green! Angelina, she's not done! Russian leg sweep! Oh, and there you go, this is what you deserve, hell! Now you decide to show up! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, oh, Valkyrie! Valkyrie hung on! And just like that, the alliance just snapped in two! Again, only one can become the queen! Only one can leave here with the scepter. Only one can be the Diamonds Champion. Valkyrie looking to finish off Angelina. Oh my lord. The absolute disrespect from that slap. And Valkyrie, she wants payback. But Angelina just one step ahead on that regard. Angelina. Oh no. Oh no. For Angelina. As Valkyrie goes to the top of Mount Olympus, but so does Angelina! <laughs> the life of luxury from the top rope! And that's it, Valkyrie's done! Ouch! No! She hung gone! Valkyrie, the heart of a lioness! Hangs on! Oh. Tornado complete shot by Valkyrie! The first two women are now at the end game of the match! They are survivors, whatever happens. And Angelina, however, she doesn't want to survive. She wants to win. And Valkyrie. We're about to see which one of these two wants it more. Valkyrie or Angelina. Who's going to leave here as the one whose name will be remembered. Valkyrie with a kick. Sending it deep to the corner. Oh no. Rebound post to post. Haluva kick. Sending Angelina down. One more! Wait, no. Oh, and a stomp from the stratosphere! Hold on! Hold on! Fight of Valkyrie! And another one! Angelina! She's counting the seconds she has left in this rumble! She doesn't even know where she's at! But Valkyrie knows! Valkyrie! This is it! Oh no! Oh my god! Valkyrie's out! Angelina eliminates Valkyrie! That means that Angelina... Wait, no. I forgot. I forgot!
Kit One su survives. Where was she? She let those two go at it. She let Lost do the work beforehand, and then she slithered her way back into the ring using the championship belt. That solid play to knock out Angelina Love, and oh my. That's what I mean. She, she let lost the strongest woman deemed by Rennick on the planet to do the work and the sin did plenty of work. Showing why she is that formidable. Tossing out Andy, tossing out Lacey, and nearly tossing out Angelina herself, but it was thanks, thanks to Lacey that saved Angelina's chances. And of course, the big surprise of the returning Crystal with her raid. At least, Lost didn't leave her with the championship, but still, Lost, even though she's she's a, an old grandma that shocked us all whole night, she was just too much for every single competitor remaining in this match. No wonder she's been an aura for a very long time. Who can beat her? I, I got your answer. If not one on one, if not two on one, then three on one. Because Angelina, Valkyrie, and Crystal, it took all three of them to eliminate the sin of lust. And you know what? I don't care. Anything can happen at the Royal Rumble. And unfortunately for Crystal, that was the case. As Elle cuts her triumphant return short. But this was the mistake by not just Angelina, but also Valkyrie. They took the rise of that wicked champion. And speaking of champions, she used that championship to knock out Angelina and take her out of the rumble and thus retain her FAM Diamonds Championship. I mean, we could debate it all we want, unfortunately, but this is the reality. And the reality of the night is that the wicked one, L is your queen. My fellow 2K gamers, it is I, the Great Protector, Assemble! Yeah! The wall that will shield you from all evil within WWE games. And I shall do just that when I enter the FAM Royal Rumble and eliminate all the other dastardly villains, like those vile Haroon twins, and worst of all, that psychotic danger to society, Grimm's Toy Show. Oh, the humanity! But don't get timid, nah nah, for Assemble has no limit. And at the FAM Royal Rumble, I will use all my might to vanquish those who dare to damage the pride of our 2K civilization. Now up, up, and away! Whoosh! Ladies and gentlemen, so far it has been a bittersweet roller coaster to say the very least. While the battles we have witnessed will go down as classics, I feel that the results have devastated the morale of not just the locker room, but the entire FAM audience. So... I have decided to put on something to lighten the moods a bit. Something that will uplift those spirits of yours. I made a few phone calls to a few close friends earlier this month and well, let's just say we've prepared a little treat for you all. Folks, put your hands together for the ultimate halftime show. Oh, by the way, in case any one of Bash and Stigma's cronies even think about ruining this moment, I got an even closer and an even bigger friend to take care of our little circle here. Enjoy! And my brother wasn't kidding! It's Mass Linkster! And my boy looks like he just went to church! Wait! Wait! Yo, Rob, you did it! You did it! It's... Dan! That's it! Oh! Oh my lord! Yeah! My morale was down! My heart was aching! 
But now uh, my spirits are telling me to just dance, baby, dance! What? Yo! Yo! Whoa, Boshi! What are you talking? He didn't he turn into a sandwich crabby patty eight years ago? What? I guess he escaped from the ship? I guess he did! And thank God! Because this guy, this FAM legend, oh, he's here to brighten everybody's moods. I'm a goofy cooper 24 7 for you, Bashi. And the hits just keep on coming. It's my man, Techno Tank Junior. My man's favorite song is Let Yourself Go, and I think he uh, he took that too, literally. Uh, yeah, but still, man, look, Techno Tank is the one above all when it comes to setting the mood, when it comes to setting the atmosphere, and with all these three, well, Bashi, Ted Dancing, and Techno. Oh, you talk about the group trade. This is it. Oh, this is this. You know what? Screw the other matches. This. This is real history! This right here is what it's all about! And I really do mean screw the other matches. Freaking stigma and his cronies. Freaking rat now coming back after 14 years. Freaking L! Freaking lost that old hag! Ah, uh, but you know what? The point of this is for me and my mind to forget about that. And you know what? Yeah, I'm not gonna let that stop me from enjoying my time here! Just like how these two and Mass Links there are making sure that we're all up in arms when it comes to getting our spirits raised. What a moment! Now, let's get this party started! That bum ass what boy wrong brought these clowns as dancers. He should have invited me. I can bust a move faster than you can say, Buster. Hey, Rob Buster, watch the this. <laughs> you see that? You're trying to blackmail a brother like me? For what? Because I'm a sin? Just because of where I come from? That's discrimination. No, I can take insults, but my boy Sloth, oh, he don't like not being invited to a party. So prepare yourself, because that big old 600 pound boulder is heading your way. Envy? Envy from the Sins? What, what, what is he talking about, Sloth? Uh, I was having a good nap. Oh my. Hear your music. Your very loud music. No, I can't sleep. Yes, I gotta smash you quick. And then I can go back to snuggle time. Oh my god. That's. That's slot! That's 600 pound warthog! Oh, my best Lister, the big muscle! Oh, it's it. Uh... It's you. Um, don't tell me. Uh, uh, I forgot. Dude, guy, we're at five. Oh. Uh, um, what was I supposed to do here again? Uh. Dude, close lighting slot. Oh, oh, that's right. I came here to smash you. Thanks for the reminder. Oh my God. Oh my no lord! He felt no pain! And Maslingster! Just got derailed! Dancing! Dancing! Cut cut! Tombstone! What the hell man? Bashi! Bashi! Got caught as well! Oh lord! Techno! Techno! Rebound! Ah, oh, but Slot! No, 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 Slot! No! Oh, Lord! Oh, no! Oh, 
no! No! That's 600 pounds! What the hell? Slot! Slot is unstoppable! Slot feels no pain! Not only is he the heaviest athlete in the world, he also is the most indestructible one! He's, he's a monster! And now that monster, along with Envy, ruins our moment! Finally! Now, back to bed bedtime! I don't believe this guy! Wait, wait! That's, that's the chef! What's the chef doing here? <laughs> Miso Bashi! It's been so long, my little duckling of a tag partner! How have I been? Oh, how nice of you to ask! Well, you know, the fright cat is out of the bag! <laughs> yes, I've been working for the sins this entire time! What?! As a matter of fact, I've been their personal chef back in the Academy of Aura! No! No! I especially love feeding gluttony. Oh, my special main course. He just eats about everything, including the bone. Jesus. And speaking of feeding, Michelle Bashi, I don't know how you got away from my kitchen eight years ago. That was very naughty of you, my little piggy. <laughs> but I've come here to take you back to my kitchen. Where you belong. After all, I do need an assistant in order to help me gather my special ingredients. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 somebody, somebody, no, 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 somebody help Pashi. We're gonna lose him again. This freak, he's gonna feed him to, to gluttony. If you don't remember me, allow me to give you a refresher. My name is Robert Martyr, and for the past seven years, I have busted my ass across the entire US wrestling the best in the world. And you may be asking yourself, what are you doing on FAM television? Well, let me give you that answer. Like I said, uh, I've wrestled some of the best. Davey Richards, Alan Angels, Titus Alexander, Alec Price, Jacob Fatu, and many, many more. But I came from somewhere. And that somewhere is this community. You see, before I was this, I was this. And I've realized that I've had some unsettled business. Look, before I left, I have had plenty of amazing matches, plenty of things to show for, but nobody really gave me my respect. Before I leave, you know, because I am a stubborn person, I want to get my get back, which is why I'm entering the FAM Royal Rumble. That's right, me, the poison youth, the stray Robert Martyr. And look, if you ever had any problems with me, if you ever wanted to test your will against one of the hungriest men in professional wrestling, you can. I'll enjoy saying my final goodbye when I am the FAM Royal Rumble winner. I'll see you then. You've got to be kidding me. First, rat. I'm sorry, the original rat. Then, lost that old hag. Now, envy and slot. Tonight's event is bursting in the seams with the members of the seven deadly sins. And I'm afraid that won't be the last we've seen of them. As a twisted storm continues to loom over FAM. But tonight, the thunder has indeed arrived for the world champion, Cameron Bash. As the cloud of pure darkness, the Emperor Status challenges Bash for the FAM world title. Status is no saint, 
In fact, he is described as a cruel conqueror and a vicious dictator. But for the general manager Ron Buster and us, he is seen as the necessary evil. An evil that can relinquish the title of Cameron Bash and take away the scepter that Bash leads his army with the FAM World Heavyweight Championship. It is the Emperor status versus the Tyrant Bash who is going to sit on the throne of forever a movement. The more things change, the more they stay the same. I love that phrase, and I'm gonna keep on saying it, because do you know what? It's true. And no matter how many times you try and hold Cameron Bash down, each and every time, he's going to rise back up. Because for the second time in my career, I am once again the FAM World Champion. But I've got some things that I need to say to this self-proclaimed emperor status. FAM may be a steaming pile of dog shit while it remains under the control of corrupt clowns like Rombuster, but as long as I am holding the FAM World Championship, this show, this entire brand, is the Cameron Bash brand. And I'll be damned if some wannabe is gonna come in here and take that away from me. Because whether it's an FAM founder, or a newcomer with a chip on his shoulder. I need to show the world that nobody can do what I do. Coming back here alongside Stigma and the Sins, it isn't just about revenge on FAM for me. It's about reclaiming the stage that they never wanted me to have so that I can prove to the entire world that I am the best goddamn person to ever be involved with this shit. And when it's all said and done, you'll all know that. So I guess there's only one question that remains. Are you the Emperor? Are you the Emperor? Mr. Bash, why are you so hostile? So angry and for what reason? A dinosaur like yourself should be used to scenarios like this. Being the World Heavyweight Champion, right? That's the very last championship that I need in my collection. I am the change that this place needs. The inevitable World Heavyweight Champion. FAM is in need of a rebirth. I am sick and tired of this place being taken hostage by egomaniacs that should have been retired about five years ago. Here, talking about your legacy this and your stupid hat that. We're a toxic virus that needs to be put out, and I am the cure. About how you conquered and steamrolled through shows and champions more times than any of us could imagine. You can undermine what I've done all you want, but that's my advantage over you. You've been fighting the same six dudes for the last 15 years that you have no idea what you're in for. Your accomplishments don't even add up to a fraction of the impact that mine have created. One thing is for certain, Mr. Bash, is that the change is here, and the future chapter of FAM is being written right in front of you. And this is a story that you do not belong in. Evil, the Conqueror, 
the Emperor. Status made his presence felt immediately only a few short months ago and already has everybody on edge at not just the FAM locker room but also Karen Bash. This is the man that has conquered championship after championship, promotion after promotion. But tonight, tonight he has his eyes on the grandest of them all, the FAM World Championship. And Roth Buster actually saw that as the opportunity to basically create a mix-up where it's fire against fire, a conqueror versus a tyrant. And in this case, the deal is pretty sweet from my standpoint at least. Can Emperor bring back the gold to FAM and relinquish it from Cameron Bash? <laughs> Not describe how much I loathe this guy. This this being is universally despised, and not without any reason. I'm not all about cancel culture, or whatever. But this guy, oh my lord, he has sunk in to the lowest depths in the history of humanity. This person has done the absolute worst anybody could ever do in this industry, all because of his greedy desires, all because of his selfish ambitions. This person, the former leader of AWOL, the man that tried to take over FAM multiple times, unfortunately right now, could end up succeeding simply because it's not just him, it's stigma along with the switch by society. And then he brought in the most powerful army in the history of combat, Aura, the seven deadly sins. Just think about it, the sins, along with the original rat returning and 8 Sigma in defeating Radek earlier tonight. I mean, it truly is the darkest ages in FAM's history. And it's all thanks to the man that came up with the plan. The man that led countless revolts of the past, but now he has created the ultimate chemical that could very well end up poisoning the entire root of this movement. Let's not, so, not forget how he got that FA World Championship again by getting OTP, that ass-kissing Judas, to betray guns and cost him the World Championship. And that's why now, from Buster, is desperate. Rumbuster will hire anybody to take out Cameron Bash, even if it is somebody that is close to being like him. Introducing first, the challenger, weighing in this morning at 220 pounds, the Emperor Stannis! Introducing his opponent from London, England, weighing in this morning at 282 pounds. He is the current FAM World Champion, Cameron Bash. Oh, I can't wait for this to start. I can't wait for status to absolutely dish out Cameron Bash a taste of his own medicine. Status is ready 
Cameron Bash is set to defend the FAM World Championship. However, I don't think it's going to be as easy as Cameron Bash hopes. Cameron Bash may have an army, but so does the Emperor. Status has the Jaegers and Cameron Bash. Oh, he better pray. He better pray for a miracle. He better pray for some sort of intervention. Now hold on a minute, players. Before we get this year FAM World Championship match underway, I have a little announcement to make. You see, folks, I'm not happy. I am not happy with the way things have gone down here tonight. It took Sigma and three other men to defeat Renek. And if it weren't for that, then my brother wouldn't be forced to enter the Royal Rumble match later tonight at the number one spot. L also abused the power of one of the seven sins, Lust, to her advantage and used it to come out on top in the Diamonds Rumble match. And Bash! I'm not about to let you get away with whatever you're scheming here for this match. So, I'm going to throw a wrench into your plans. Because a 50% chance of you walking out with the title tonight just isn't good enough for me. So, why don't we turn that all the way down to 33.33333333333%. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're making this a triple threat match. But who will be the third man in this match, you ask? Well, just like the former world champion Guns, this man was also banned from competing for the very same prize for five long years. But that dreaded clause came to an end in 2020, meaning this man is long over to a shot at the title. And he's here tonight. And tonight, he's going to cash in on that opportunity. think he's happy at all but I don't care I really don't care that just means that Bash's chances of retaining just went down and they went down even deeper as now the triple threat world heavyweight championship match is underway and already I'm loving what I'm seeing as they double team Kevin Bash oh wait oh Status, his loyalty is to himself. He doesn't care, but Status! Yes! German suplex by J2F. All results in a one count. And there goes my dream out the window. Ah, oh, damn. I really was hoping that Status and J2F would work together for the betterment of FAM, but Status is a conqueror. He was the championship. Oh, he was going for that second chance kick. But instead, he gets a few kicks from the reigning champion, Bash. I don't even want to call him a champion at this point. He has earned his victories in one of the most underhanded tactics in the history of this entire sport. With him going around, I can't even call it a sport. And now, Aaron Bash setting up for a buckle bomb. Wait! J2F escapes! Yes! 
Jake the Webman, he hasn't missed a beat! Kick! After kick! The FAM original is... Oh man, he's scoring the champion! J2F! Wait! He's going for it! Is he going for the pedigree? No! Oh, no! Checkmate! Checkmate! And a backstabber! Backstabber! And J2F powers out of it! Straight web. He's he's not he's definitely not about to go down like that after so long. Now hold on now. The tyrant and the emperor face to face and no! hold on now. Oh hold on! Kevin Bass chasing status! It's J2F! Soars from the sky and lands direct hit! On the champion! Yeah, Hedos appears to be outnumbered and outplayed for a while, Bash! And that's smart on the part of Status. Status may be a new guy here in FAM, but he has been a veteran outside of this universe. And oh! J2F saw that Cameron Bash move and it toppled his balance! Cameron Bash now sees the opportunity and he's setting up for the spear! And if he hits this, I don't know if even J2F could survive! Tornado DDT! Oh, it's status! Status! Capitalizing! He's gonna go! Oh, no, 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 no! Small package! And reversal! And now these two again. Almost same ideologies. Squaring off. Let's see who outplays who. Status. Duck underneath. Keep looking out! Most insistent by J2F! And now, it's time for the veteran to face off against the Emperor. Oh, look at that, the Emperor just one step ahead from the kicks. Oh, he was good for a second, just kicking. Damn! Emperor is showing that he's been around just as much as J2F, if not more. One hitter, quitter! He hits it! The one hitter, quitter! Yes! Jake 12 kicked out of that one. That's about Jake 12. It was going to say it's going to be another victim for another assault. But now it seems like he's in delivering the barrage of kicks. Oh! Status dodged out of the way. And now he's going for a Mexican stretch before he stomps the head. Of J2F, hey listen! Honestly, I would my dream would be for J2F to win, but I'll take status taking away the championship too. I don't know how these people feel about it right now. Oh! The one hitter! Quitter again! The second time! Status not going for the pin though. Oh he he wants to make sure that he knocks out J2F! He's gonna go for it again! My lord, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. But Cameron Bash, he's about to make sure that, that this is indeed it. As he goes right back to work on status. Onto the corner right now. Again, that sphere is devastating. But status, quite honestly, he's fresh. He didn't suffer any punishment at all so far. Well, now he is. As J2F gets caught. He gets buckle bombed. Onto the corner! Oh, it's me up the corner! Bash is back! Madden! And again! Ding dong! Bash! Wait! Status! It's Jake the Web! Goes to the corner! Bro! Oh no! No! Bash is up too! <laughs> On the top of Mount Olympus! Bash delivers the ultimate buckle bomb! Superman punch! No! J2F! J2F's heart's still beating! But Bash 
is going to continue delivering that beating until one of them stays down. Stays down just for Cameron Best to finally retain. If he continues like this, he might actually, he might actually retain. As he continues to wear and tear the body of returning veteran J2F with a camel clutch and mind you Cameron Bash is a large man and a powerful man at that so you can only imagine what J2F's neck what J2F's back must be going through right now 270 pounds of pure muscle and mass but J2F yes he slurs out of the camel clutch and now he's going for the clover leaf that's right Break it! Break his back, Jake And claim the gold that has been eluding you your entire career, your entire livelihood! Make him pay! Make him pay! Make him squeal! What are we gonna do? Just do it! Do it! Hold on now. Wait, his grip is slipping! Jake to have to Oh man, no! Damn it! Oh man, Cameron Bash! With a burst of energy! Just got shut down by G to F instantly! Oh, is this it? Is it? The J2 finale! He hit it! He hit it! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Come on, J2F. Keep doing what you gotta do, man. Keep punishing him. And I'll be in it for the ride, for the entire ride! Oh, damn it! He caught him with his knees! He's setting up for that definite high angle slam. Cameron Bash pulling up with a leg drop. Oh, brother, no, no. J2 win. Kicks out, yes. Again, that is what a heart of an FAM original is all about. He's willing to go through Hellfire and Bridgestone to claim the championship. But Bash is setting up for that. He got caught! Status is back at... Hold on now. Is the... Are they... Yo, yes, 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 yes! The ring with each other, yes! Oh! What kind of dish are they about to serve, Cameron Bash? Oh! Oh, oh okay, as long as it's not my enough stable, I don't care. I don't care! Beat that up! Yes, right. Break his back. Make him humble. I don't care. Just end this creep. Oh, 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 I'm getting a rush. Oh, and Cameron Bash is about to get a beatdown. Is that us? No. You know what? Usually, I would say, no, don't do it, Jake. Do it. But yes, yes, do it this time. Do it. Break him. Break him. <laughs> short-lived but you know what as long as Cameron Bash's title reign is short-lived I'm satisfied oh springboard knee strike onto the face of J2F and now we're gonna see who's gonna end up leaving the face of FAM oh Matt Charisma DDT oh J2F refers with a small package J2F he he oh, didn't get it not yet not yet J2F I rush him into the corner. Wow! Oh man! J2F flipped and team Matt boot! Polaga would have float over neck breaker, courtesy of the Emperor. Oh and now look at that! You talk about a veteran hold. Status displaying one right now in the form of the triangle hold. About to choke out the original FAM member, J2F! And he might actually succeed. Oh, but J2F! J2F! Look at a straight flame! Oh, but he caught him right back into the hold, wrenching his wrist and pulling him, pulling his entire body down towards his thighs. And now, if this continues any longer, I'm afraid J2F's third chance now is, 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 is done. Can J2F survive? This torment can cheat to him. Yes! He found the strength! No way! Oh, I thought we were about to 
see something right there. I thought we were about to see history. But we might. We might. He says he got for that second chance kick. Oh, not to be. Status reverses. Kicks. What hit? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Cameron Bat is back. Second chance kick. Second chance kick. Oh, piss off. Come on, J12. Don't let the slow you down. Go right back to work. Yo! Oh, yeah. He was going for a spiral Phoenix splash, but instead, Bash gets him for the checkmate. Oh, Bash is not done. Bash, oh, he's gonna go for another one. That second checkmate on J2F. No, he's gonna finish him off. With that president bash bottom but yes, yes! Chain to F! Chain to F! He got over the pedigree! The pedigree! Oh god, oh man! Back body group reversal, but J2F! Oh, no, no. There's body near split in two! Oh, what status? Status soars! And lands on the champion! Status is back in the game! There is the beauty of a triple threat, folks! You never know when the third party is about to enter or exit. In this case, oh, he's about to enter his world title ring. Status, oh no. Bash versus the one hitter quitter. And now Bash. Status, fighting out of the checkmate. And yes, right, right into it. The regalia. And now, now Bash is in a world of pain. Not as much of pain as he has made everybody suffer throughout his entire tenure here at FAM. But right now, right now, this is satisfying to watch. And what would be more than satisfying as if the bastard tapped out. Tap out, tap out, you creep. Make him squeal, Status. Come on, harder, stronger. Pull, break his body in half. Make him suffer. Well, hold on now, wait, why did he let it go? Bash was down, status. Oh, I, I see. It was to take out J2F for good. So he can actually get that victory on Bash. And this is it. Famous, sir. Onto the pavement. And now he's going, no. And he slaps him down with the checkmate. Not like this. Yes. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, oh my God. And now, no, 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 Bash setting up for the spear! Look out! Status! Yes! Match Charisma! DDT! Damn it! Damn, why? Why? No! Bash bottom! No. Yes! Elbow strikes! And now, ah, oh, the Bash Bomb! <laughs> Second chance kick! Chain the world! Chain the world! Rumble, Olympus! Phoenix Splash! Yo, uh, no! Yes, that's it! Pit Bash! Pit him! Oh man, that wasn't enough! J2F could have pit Bash immediately! That could have been it! But I think he wanted to go after Status for that betrayal earlier on! Oh, and now Status is feeling the punishment for such a crime! Not as big as a crime as this! Freaking criminal mastermind, Cameron Bass! Oh man, just look at the speed! Look at that! Just outmaneuvering both competitors right now! Oh! Forearm shot! Oh, he's placing status down! Oh! Combo! And a, what? A swingy 619 from the corner? Oh no, but Bash caught him! Bash caught him! Oh my god! Side and another leg drop setting up for the death nail on status. Oh, status! What hitter? Quitter. Yes, status. Oh, he's not done. Status knows, status feels it. Oh, yes, here it is. A second hitter, quitter. Is this enough? 
Oh, he wants him to go through more pain, and I agree! The verdict! Guilty! Take him down! One hitter! Quitter! Go on, Stax! Pin him! Claim your prize! Damn it! What are you... Oh, he wants to finish him off with the big one! The Mad Charisma! DDT! He hits it! We got ourselves a world champion! Oh, you punk! Ben! Ben McKenzie! The current Crimson Champion! Part of Cameron Bash's posse! Oh, I saw you gotta be kidding me! And now look for A! Enters the fray! Monet from the Switchblade Society and OTP that showed us! Everybody, every rat just came out from the sewers and infested the FAM ring! Oh, the Buccaneer boot by Ben with assistance from Luke Monet! Hey yo! Oh wait, look out! Yes! The Titan! Legend! The Enforcer of the Eggers! And stands his army! Takes down Luke Money! And Ben McKenzie follows suit with a big body drop! Oh, and OTP that rat! Oh, here comes more Jaegers! And oh, damn it! The Britmen are here now! Oh! Fatal Stephen! Fatal Stephen is here! Oh, he's gonna get caught by OTP on the DDT! But Stephen, the strategist of the Jaeger army! is going to protect his leader! <laughs> and that traitor is down! Oh, here comes AC Archers! Oh, yes! Fatal Steven with the bicycle kick! Take him down! Arik! 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 The other half of the Brit man! Oh, look at that slime ball! And Latchet! Spits out that slime ball out of the ring! Look at that! That giant now! He's signaling! Wait, you gotta. You're kidding! There's more? There is! Oh man! It's a war zone! As more Jaegers are coming in! Left and right! Money! That's taken down! Oh look out! Ben McKenzie! Ah! Oh, with that Glasgow kiss! Oh! Fail Steven! Scott McKenzie! Oh, but McKenzie hits him another one! With that same Glasgow kiss headbutt. Oh no. Oh, this is something I dreaded. OTP and the entirety of Bash's own little army taking control. No! And Jaeger goes down. And another one all oh, gets taken out by Arthur's. Throw kick him to the outside. Oh, but one of them took out OTP. That's right. Oh! That's right. Play on him like the bunch of hyenas you are. I don't care. He is Scar, and you are the hiders at the end of the movie. Kill him! Oh no, Ben McKenzie! He's sizing up a Steven, a Steven! Fatal Steven! Legend Games! Taking out Ben McKenzie! And the Emperor! The leader! Taking charge! And delivering the final shot! Oh, speaking of the final shot, Luke Monet! Targeting Fatal as he. Slams his face on the middle turnbuckle, but it's not gonna be so easy on the giant legend. A oh, legend. Oh, <laughs> this, am I dreaming? This is a fantasy. Bash the victim of a numbers game. What? Oh no, and so is J2F. No, no, J2F with the second chance kick, taking down a Jaeger. Oh, J2F. J2F is entering the war zone, but he has no allegiances. What a way! He dropped a nuke on Luke Monet! And now, ho oh, oh, I'm loving everything I'm seeing right now! Oh, no, 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 wait! A second chance kick on Legend! The only alliance J2F is loyal to is FAM! And he was the World Championship! That Charisma DDT on Ben McKenzie by status! But then Arik from behind! Going after this is total chaos! This is absolute total chaos and bash! Bash boots one of the Jaegers! Oh no, he's got another one! Falling to belly onto the pavement! This, this is a battlefield! Fail Steven! Misses with the boot! 
And now Jacob is delivering kicks of his own. And a knee strike connecting on the jaw of Fatal Steven. And now, no, you hung on. Total NRP. Oh, no, 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 no. Really expect me to to accept this? After everything that happened, Jake to have returning after five years, and now yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna commentate this. Do it your own. Forget it. Forget it. this part I'll call this part we're about to have a new world champion in the form of status and then obviously Karen Bash already sent his goonies already on lookout just in case he was definitely about to lose the championship he was definitely about to have his reign cut short but then of course status being the smart man that he is had his army on lookout as well and it turned everything into an unpredictable war zone which inevitably gave the advantage to somebody like Cameron Bash. Shane Duell fought as hard as he could. He fought both armies and nearly came out on top. He actually did come out on top. The only person that was left in the ring was Bash. And unfortunately for Shane Duell, there were too many warriors inside the Gladiator Arena. One of them to sneak from behind and claim to win. Man, this is this is freaking terrible. Oh come on! Status though! Status! Rightfully irate! Oh, 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 oh! If there is ever a silver lining, it's the camera bash! We'll feel the wrath of the Emperor! This it's not over, and poor AC Arthurs is about to feel the results of being loyal to a snake like Cameron Bass. Cameron Bash might have won the battle tonight in this FA World Championship match, but believe me, the status also believes that this war is far. Far, far from over.
Super ZOMG Barbecue! Super ZOMG Barbecue! Super ZOMG... <coughs> I'm not getting paid enough to do this. Oi, what the hell is going on? This is my screen time, you out of touch mark. Super ZOMG Barbecue, JB, whatever you want to call him, is about to put on his wrestling boots, his wrestling tights, his wrestling... Uh, tw Twitter? Yeah, and he will join the fray and compete in the FAM Royal Rumble. People want to see someone new, something fresh. It's the king of supercards. Hey now, wait a second. Able to withstand the onslaught of titans such as Smack Talks, assemble the public enemies. And Funky Town, spoiler, no. Can he survive the largest collision course in WWE Games history? Be the last man standing in the ring? And go on to main event fam anniversary? Your whole presentation is out of date anyway. Forever Movement presents the FAM Royal Rumble. We had a plan, and the last time I checked, J2F wasn't in it. S -s -s Status? Listen, man. Listen? Listen to what? You? You wanted to get rid of the Cameron Bash problem, and I was the solution. I had the world championship won. Why do you keep bringing these idiots from a decade ago? How can we focus on growing and reviving FAM if all you focus on is the past? Enough! I've had enough of this, and I've had enough of you. Look, I think I have a way where we can straighten this all out. Just, just not here. Come. Let's go to my office. To say that I am infuriated is an understatement, folks. How? How did Cameron Bash manage to slither his way out with the world title still in his dastardly hands? With the surprise return and the inclusion of J2F entering the fold, it was almost a guarantee that Bash had nowhere else to run. But that bastard saw a small opening, small opening, and as status as Jaegers fought off against Bash's army, he took down J2F and pinned him. This smart play by Rumbuster just backfired, the status wasn't even defeated in this bout, and resulted in Bash retaining. I can guarantee you that this has not only left us in a sour mood, but the Emperor himself is also infuriated. And it's for damn sure that he is going to have a long talk with the General Manager. But folks, speaking of the World Championship, it is now time to see what the future holds. The moment has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the Men's Royal Rumble match. 30 entrants, a galaxy of superstars, one opportunity, one winner. On this ultimate challenge, whose name will be remembered who is going to Famniversary 5 let the Colosseum gates open here stands a battleground that has withstood the test of time a place where countless gladiators have gone to war but one where only few have tasted glory now, once again, the opportunity at immortality has presented itself as some of the world's very best will collide to write their name into the history books. However, destiny turns its twisted hand as an unprecedented collective against FAM looks to claim glory for themselves. Never before has so much been on the line inside the Royal Rumble as the fate of the entire movement hangs in the balance. I choose to enter the Royal Rumble match. The only thing that matters to us is that one of us wins. There ain't a man who's going to stand between me and what is rightfully mine. Will the soldiers of Forever a Movement be able to rise against their most formidable foe? Or will 13 years of consequences Finally, swallow them whole. Who will win the war for their realm? Who will claim 
immortality for themselves. Who will main event Famniversary? Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The moment you've all been waiting for. The match of the century. This is the Royal Rumble. The following match is the main event of the evening, and it is the 30-man Royal Rumble match. In this match, two superstars will start inside the ring. Every 90 seconds, a new superstar will enter. In order to be eliminated, a superstar must be thrown over the top rope and both feet must touch the floor. The last remaining superstar standing, after all other competitors have been eliminated, will be declared the winner and will receive a match of their choosing at BAM Anniversary. Chairman, Rennick has a torn trapezius. If this was Rennick at 100%, then I will guarantee you, guarantee you, that he would be eliminating everybody left, right, and center and win. But after what happened in the first match here tonight, Rennick is leave it at 50%. Look at that! Am I seeing that right? He is, oh my god! Look at that! I don't think he's even at 10%! I thought I just saw a black eye, but not even that. Look at the show. Oh my lord. What torn trapezius. That thing exploded. There's no way. Renick is going to compete at that state? What we just saw earlier tonight with Stigma and his cronies and the return of the original rat. Renick was dominating. Renick had Stigma and the whole entire Switchblade Society's number. Until the original rat showed up and this is the result and now Renick has to start number one and the worst part is folks I got a new commentator partner <laughs> oh, I can't wait to introduce him to you all oh this is a surprise the former world heavyweight champion and he's the one that took the championship away from Renick Introducing the superstar who drew number two from Quebec Canada, the behemoth, Cyanide. Cyanide was the one that took the title away from Rennick when he pinned somebody else in a fatal four way match. Ironically, it was another fatal four way match to where Cyanide lost his championship to Guns. However, today's a different story altogether. This is for Famniversary, this is for the main event. And this is to be immortalized. And with Renek being that severely injured, he can definitely go toe to toe with him. Ladies and gentlemen, before we continue, as I mentioned, I have a new commentator partner because apparently I've been too one sided. So let me introduce to you all my partner, a pimp. Yes, a pimp named Slickstar. You damn right, Rom. You better get that correct. A pimp named Slickstar. I'm sick. I'm sick and tired of your 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 your, your, your downwing politics. You've been incredibly egregious here against Cameron Bash, who's my best customer, by the way. Shout out to Cameron Bash. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The Royal Rumble match is going to be officially underway. Look at that. Cyanide, the former world champion. Redick also is the former world champion, but Cyanide, in my opinion, he might actually be able to go toe to toe with Redick. Especially in the state that Redick is in right now. Look at that shoulder just officially just bruised. Oh my lord, see what I mean? Cyanide is a big boy, he's a big boy indeed. 
Cyanide again looking to work on that bruised shoulder of Rennick. Not just Bruce, oh man, that, he must have like a torn muscle. Just look at that, I don't even want you to go I'm no like scientist or whatever, I'm no pharmacologist. This is just brutal, look at that, he's working on it. Oh man, I don't even know how Rennick is competing here. Yeah, I'll give it to Rennick. It, he, he's coming out here, he's toughening it up, but I mean, we have a big boy like, 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 like Cyanide in that ring right now. I mean, it, it's tough. It's tough. I, you say you don't think Rennick's going to be 10%? I agree with you. Rennick's not even 1%. How could you? Not only have a black guy, you have 25 stitches on your forehead and a torn muscle all the way to your shoulder. How could you? Rennick, though, with the heart of a champion and the heart of a beast, go again. Oh my, he took down Cyanide again. Look, from everything we've seen from Rennick since coming here to FAM, we know never to oh count him out. Oh my lord! My god! He's just... And he tossed him up like a ragdoll! One big injured and he's gonna toss him out again! Are we gonna get a first elimination here in the Rumble? That's right, first elimination! Oh man, what a right hook! These two are the first ones that they have to the number 30 entrant! And a reminder that any team or stable can come in as one entrant too! Oh, he's going for it! He's going for it! He's going for the final save on Reddick reverses! Oh no! Oh how? He's lifting up a monster on top of his torn shoulder! Go to sleep! Big GTS from Rannick! No! Who the he- Well, well, well. Aren't you all surprised to see me here? Don't be. It's only natural that the greatest professional wrestling influencer on the planet gets the opportunity to stand on top of 29 other wannabes. Nobody can come close to my success. No being can reach my intellect. In layman's terms, nobody can touch me. And that includes the circus freak in the ring and even you, Rannick. People claim that Rannick over there is the strongest, that nobody could lay a hand on him. Sure, it's true. He would have been stigma easily if it was a straight up one-on-one -on -one fight. I'll give him that. I know the basic math here. But what's also a simple equation is that Rannick versus Valen equals the end. The end of your journey, Rannick, and the beginning of mine. Once I easily eliminate you and that giant frog over there, I will continue to climb and ascend to the number 30 spot where I will dispose of that unfortunate soul and take my rightful place as the one above all. I will survive. I will claim my destiny. And you will all remember my name, Valen Plana. Valen Plana with Planner Productions behind him. <laughs> he just made a statement. All talk though, is he staring down the original sin? I don't know if uh, talking all that smack to Rannick is uh, the best thing to Oh! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kid, you better run. He just took your advice! I test the first elimination! What? Valen is spinning out of here! As he should! And that's what Sinai should do too! Taking advantage of the opportunity while Rennick was still distracted by that elimination. Sinai has been smart, he's been targeting that, that left shoulder this entire time so far. I've never seen an injury like that in my entire life! And the fact that Rennick is still fighting from number one is to last to number 30? Like I said, if this was 100% Rennick, he'd be dominating, but nah! Let's be real! Oh man, Rennick though fighting back. Oh, oh. It's so weird to see Rennick struggling. Oh, what a headbutt from Sinai. It's true. Rarely do you see Rennick struggle, but in this case, Rennick is still... Oh my lord, Rennick is still throwing out everything he could. Oh my god, two Germans. He's looking for the trifecta. He is. Three German suplex. Oh, oh, what, what, what? What? He's lifting up in your water powder! What? What a cradle baby! See, this 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 just ain't fair. It's not fair! And it's not fair! And you're right, it's not fair! Rennick is not even 10% and he's doing that! Oh man! He might eliminate No! No, no, Cyanide! Cyanide with the instincts of a former champion! Former world champion! He's gonna go for it! The choke slam! Gotta be 
kidding me. Uh, here's one of your boys, right? Ben McKenzie. You damn right. He's also a good customer of mine, by the way. Uh-huh. He's also the FAM Crimson Champion that's a part of Cameron Bash's Keeper of the Rings. What kind of a pretentious name is that, by the way? Oh, uh, he's gonna have a, a lot to prove, though. He has to earn this match. I like that championship. Oh, my lord! The Buccaneer boot! Big boot from Ben McKenzie. Oh, but Cyanide was anticipating another one. And he's gonna go for a power bump. No, 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 no. Big right from Ben. Come on, Ben. You got it. Oh. Oh, my. What a Glasgow kiss. From Ben McKenzie. Over the top rope. And oh, no. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, oh. He's gone. Oh, oh, come on. He's gone. Ben, are you okay? He's gone. I don't want to hear any about technicalities. Ben McKenzie is gone. The second elimination. Oh, my Lord. What a ripcord. He might have eliminated the brain cells of Cyanide. He might have decapitated him. Oh, he's gonna go for the final C, but no! He was trying to copy and imitate Cyanide, but instead Cyanide just... Oh my god! ...wrecked him! These two men have dominated this rumble thus far. Now, personally, I don't really have a dog in this fight. Although I'm leaning a little bit more towards Cyanide. Maybe you might be getting your wish, because Cyanide is about to eliminate Redick, but Redick... Oh no! Redick reversing, and he's gonna go again for the final C! Try to imitate Cyanide, but Cyanide again. That got shot. Oh, Lisa! Le what? Ah! Oh! What a reversal from Redick! You don't try and copy a move named after his mother! I'm just asking for trouble. Ultimate form of disrespect there. Shoves him off on a clothesline. Another clothesline. Bounce off the ropes. Ooh! Oh my, what a collision! As both these gladiators are knocked out, we're about to see who's gonna enter at number five. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> what are you talking about, big man? Oh my god. You're about to see a colossal, a titanic point of no return as these three goliaths are about to clash. You're talking about big boys. Roberto, I tell you, nobody is as big as this boy. Entering his fourth rumble match. This is what I like to see, three horses going at it. Oh, look at it, oh! God. Sheer strength from Roberto. And this is interesting right now. Roberto used to be part of Frenick's army. Can we actually see an alliance being reformed between these two? from anybody well for Berger smart he's gonna toss out Randy because even though he's looking like less than 10% he's still dominating in this match Roberto he has chains all over his body but he couldn't be freer than any point of his career right now Ooh. I would say a free Roberto is a very dangerous Roberto you saw Renick's popping up and he got popped that down oh my what a spawn buster and an elbow to follow up as soon as Renick gets back up he gets shot back down by a titan now just dominating Rannick in the corner with these elbows right to the side of the head what does Roberto have cooking up in his mind right now wait a minute I know where this is going unfortunately we're about to see it oh no double joke slam by Roberto Entering his fourth Rumble match! Oh, God damn it. And he's not coming alone. He's got one, two, and three dummies. Because remember, any team or stable can use an entrant as just, again, one entrant. So, basically, one entrant, one team, it don't matter. They're both eligible. Oh, no! Oh, oh, no. Military press and... One down! Living up to his to his lifestyle being a crash test dummy. Oh my god! And just like that, 
We go from three to one. Roberto's on a roll. I don't know, Yards. Better luck next year already. Wait, wait. What does that last? Is that, is that, that looks like a bit of uranium. What? Did you say uranium? Yeah, yeah. I, I think. What the hell? What? Christopher! Holy hell! That's the Incredible Hulk! Did you know they could do that? That is a Titan dummy! What the hell the hell did that even happen? Holy crap! He hulked up! He has muscles on muscles! Yard? What the hell was that? That wasn't your radio! Folks! The unexplainable just happened! Yard! Just it up, and now he's the same size as Roberto. This dummy that wasn't uranium, it's literally on the same scale as the monster. That was a that was a, that was a damn Chico. Oh, I don't think Roberto cares much. Oh no, look at that. Oh no, in a choke slam, a choke slam onto Roberto by the dummy. Oh, he was about to stop a red injured shoulder. Ooh. Oh man, red dodged a bullet. Holy hell! He's gonna stomp him to the ring! Rannick is struggling to throw him over the top rope. Besides the injury, let's forget about it for a second. The fact that Yard is that strong and that heavy right now, Yard's gonna play a major factor. So is the number seventh entrant. It's Grim Toy Show! Oh, lucky number seven! Grim's Toy Show! A former global champion! Listen, you talk about being a lucky guy, lucky number seven! Hey, you know? Oh yes, fine, we haven't had a Rumble winner in number seven, but hey! Lucky, nobody can predict what's gonna happen here at FAM! And with, when it comes to Yard and Grim, when those two collided, Let's just say the stars aligned. Just like I was seeing right now. Oh my lord! Whoa. Cyanide! My god. He just tussled the Titan dummy and that choke slammed him for good measure. No, no. No! Grim 2? No! No! What the hell is going on here? Synchronized! Oh my god! The acrobat from Cyanide! Like two falling stars from Mount Olympus! And the 450 pound splash, but he gets taken down by Rannick. Rannick now! Oh my god! Torn trapezius and all! How? How is Rannick doing this? Eyes him on the shoulder! Sleeping pill! Sleeping pill! On a behemoth dummy! With a torn trapezius! How is Rannick doing this? With the injuries and everything he's covered through right now, he's dominating giants! Pedigree! <laughs> <laughs> my god! Reddick has still raw strength to spare! You see right there, Reddick falls to a knee though. Whoa! Oh my god! Wait! It's the poison youth! Robert Martyr! Robert Martyr! He's been hyped up to be a participant in this Rumble match in 2023! And now! The real live athlete himself. He is going to have a huge chance in not only showcasing everybody with the WWE games what he can do, but headline anniversary. He's from the from the outside world, but one of the pound for pound best wrestlers we have on this planet. I promise you. Oh, he has a lot to prove against Renek. Injury at all. This one hell of a mountain standing in front of him. I don't know if you want to stare down Renek. No! Oh. oh my god! Yard tossing! Reddick! Springboard! Oh, he took him off his feet! And he got pounced by Robert Martyrs! Oh, what a knee! He's stomping on Cyanide in the corner. Robert imposing his will on the competitors in the match right now. There you see Roberto picking up, picking up that 
That super, super sized deluxe yard. And now Robert, not to be confused with Roberto. Ah! What a drop! What the hell is What? I don't believe this. See, I told you he was good. I told you he was good. That was so crazy. That's gonna say impressive, crazy. He is some really could he even do. <laughs> You're right. And now Robert Barrett telling him to bring it. And he will. Break has no problem bringing anything to the table. Oh, look at that now. He got, he got Redick off guard. With a knee breaker into a dragon screw. Redick getting back up though. Can't take that all. Redick still wants a piece of Robert Martyr. Oh my god, but Robert Martyr slicing him up like a, like a small pancake right now. Out wrestling, the original seven. Oh, <laughs> electric chair. It was going for her Rana, but Redick pounced it back up. No, the brakes no! Brakes no! He's coming out number nine. Back. Oh my god! Switch, switch, switch! Let's kill switch! Let's kill switch! We haven't seen him in what? Six years now! How? Redick! Oh, this could be a blessing in disguise for Redick right now! His former SES pupil, not only that, his former member of his own army back in the old days! Show me what you've learned. What does he mean by that? Uh, don't tell me these two are going to actually go in and they should be... No! They're oh. fighting! Redick is testing kill switch! Is it really the best time to, to test one another in a rubble match? Oh my lord. Whoa, 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 wait, how the... Whoa, whoa! Into a triangle choke reversal into a... Lord, kills for the sake to get to Redick. I'll be damned. Where the hell has been? Where the hell has Killswitch been? He's improved. Been really impressive right now. Oh no. He's going for the GTS. He gets it. He hits Redick. Oh, rebound. Oh my lord. Oh, knee smash. Redick ate the GTS and gave out the receipt of his own. Oh my god. He ain't that go to sleep. Like it was a cereal bowl! I hate to admit, but Randick is so impressive. Oh! Oh my, what? Pounce! Pounce! Oh, and a body splash into the corner to kill switch. Oh man, look at Randick, Randick, he's not it! Oh no! As soon as he comes back up, he goes back down! Now smart by Cyanide, didn't let Randick get any momentum going. Look at him, Renick is still, still getting back up. What, just, what the? And another one! Oh my god, what's it gonna take? Stay down, man. That has to be it. Yo, what? After everything Renick's been through, he's still getting up. And this time, a double handed choke slam. Now, Renick has to stay down after that. Three signature moves from the former world champion Cyanide. Why do you have a torn trapezius? Redick is showing us why he is deemed as the strongest, the most formidable, the toughest. But tonight may not be his story. Tonight could be Killswitch's story. Tonight could be Cyanide's story. Tonight could be Robert Martyr's. And that's because the dream of Redick had like anniversary could end before the next entrant. <laughs> it's the super card legend himself. Super Zorm G Barbecue JB! One of the kings of the Supercar community! He could be actually the king of FAM! If, oh my god, what an inverted DDT by Grim! If he could manage to win this entire rubble match! Oh, there's JB now. Oh, what a suplex! Grim's Toy Show and JB have had a match back at FAM almost a year ago. Oh, he's going for a five travel shovel! He connected on Grim! Oh. <laughs> No, he won't. That Grimm's toy show is irate. He tried to copy the master. 
is gonna find out the hard way that he shouldn't imitate the creator of GTS Wrestling. Oh no! Oh my god. Choke slam by Cyanide. Oh, Cyanide gets a laps in. What a splash! I don't need to repeat myself, Slickstar. This guy is on a roll. Cyanide has been impressive as hell. Even at the number two spot, he looks like he's fresh. Cyanide definitely acting as if he has something to prove here, and I get it. Losing that world championship. He wants it back. He wants it back hard. And not only that, if he, he there's no better place to retain your championship oh. than by winning it back at anniversary. What a cannonball. Oh my god. He's serving up everybody. And up next is Reddick. No, kill switch. Oh, kill switch is on the match. Oh. Oh my god. Overhead, belly to belly. Oh my lord. Reddick smells blood. German suplex. Red X said, you go going to troll my pupil. Oh no, wait, never mind. Oh my god. What a snapdragon. What a deadlift. Oh, but his back gave out. Getting out of it. But once again, into a hip toss choke slam kind of combination. X been eating choke slams more than anybody. And he's still getting back up more than anybody. I can't explain this. I don't know what I'm seeing right here from Rennick. Sheer determination is what you're seeing, but even I gotta go. Oh, gotta just wait. Oh no, he busted him open again. Those are 25 stitches on Reddick's forehead. And I think some just got reopened for him that shot. And he's still getting up though. Wait. What? He's, he's all getting up! Reddick's all getting up, brother! Most people have a second win. Reddick has like 15 of them. 15, 100, it don't matter, Rick will use all of them to take down any obstacle he stands in his way. Holy crap! Again, 400 pounds back suplex tossing it. Again, look at it! The way he picks up this monster like it's a paper towel. How about Cyanide? Cyanide with elbow strike, shot after shot. Daisy Redding, he was going for the final scene. Is this. Whoa! Oh my god! He uppercutted him all the way to the stars! And Cyanide is eliminated! I've never seen anything like that! And I've never seen anything or anybody like this person! The protagonist of pro wrestling is Kid Bandit! The real life superstar that's been all over the world conquering promotion after promotion. Flip Hurricane Rana! The music still going on. We're gonna do an anime music video courtesy of Reddick. Oh, well, here we go! Reddick, you better touch this! Shining Wizard! Back Shining Wizard! Rebound! Reversal! Spinning kick! Let them your energy, folks! What an anime opening! Oh no! Oh yes, I should say! These two are longtime friends! They really just fought each other the first time this past January! They're about to run it back! They better run it here at FAM because there's no grander prize than headlining Famniversary 5. But only one, man, but only one of them can headline Famniversary. Kid Bandit was going for Victor Roll, but a knee smash from Martyr. Ooh! What the? Back and forth they go. Whoa! Whoa, Musa! What? Whoa! Oh my god! Brace still. No, 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 we know! Shoving Bandit off. Kick after kick, chop after chop, onslaught after onslaught, reversal after reversal. These two are evenly matched to a point of no return. These educated feet from, from both these competitors. Oh man, no! Ooh. What? What? Oh my god! Whoa, and the kip up! Whoa! I can't, I can't keep up! I'm, I'm getting dizzy! I'm, oh my, why? How? Oh! 
Are these looking for the brace too? Brace too! No, once again, reversal by Bandit! Oh, the Beyblade! Let it rip, baby! So much action! And yes! Oh! Funky Town! Let's get ready to funk here! And you know the interesting part about this is that this is the other king of the Supercard community. We already have one in the ring in JB. And so, well, there's only room for one champion, I believe. And again, at the end of the night, there's only room for one winner. And it could be Funky Town. Can you imagine if he becomes the king of FAM along with being the king of the Supercard community? That's be- I don't know, I even know how to describe that. I don't know what to describe what I'm seeing right now. Bandit is trying to eliminate Grimm's toy show from the match. We also saw momentarily ago Rennick concussed after that huge kick from Bandit. Wait a minute, we're about to see it! It's high noon! There's only room for one Supercad YouTuber here. Now Funky taking control. These two super card legends going at it. There's only room for one of them here. And only one of them will be able to headline Fabniversary. And they know it. And they want it. Into the corner. JB now. Oh, whoa, whoa, he missed. Oh, no. Oh, no for JB. He got stuck into a 3 one position. This is Funky. This is Funky shit. Do what you gotta do. That's right. Pound him. Knee strike after knee strike, shot after shot. Mind you, he's on the top rope. This could be dangerous. What? Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa. Superplex. By JB, right? That, I don't even know how to describe it. The athleticism from JB could be one of the top tiers here in FAM. But it gets shot up by Redick. Oh my god. And elimination on Fergito! Now does that make uh Does that make Rannick the uh, king of the supercar now? He can be the king of anything! <laughs> number 13, who is it? The unlucky number! Oh, what, 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 what? It's Sander! Sander! He's back! It was an upgraded mask too! The straight at society! It's here! In full throttle! Kill switch! Sander! And Redick! At the ring! At the same time! As opponents! And Redick just realized it! Oh no! Oh! He still caught him! He's going for a GTS! But no wait! But Sander! Sander! Gets back on his feet! And now he's gonna dish out Redick! What a GTS! Kill switch! Where did he come from? What? In the double team, don't forget, Sander and this fighter society is attacking Redick! And a second GTS! And a shot just to be sure! Well, I get it, you got a double team Redick. One of the original staples here at FAM! Oh, and the reunion is about to be cut short by Robert Martyr and Bandit! What? Oh! No way! Synchronized shot! Synchronized attacks! Synchronized everything! These two are on the same page to say the very least! We all know him! We all love him! It's the most formidable athlete in the skies! This is the ninja himself. This is Smack Talks. This is Smack Talks' third Rumble appearance. Could this be the one where he wins it all? I mean, listen, Smack Talks has been so close to so many occasions. He's also been a former global champion in his own right. But can he be the one? Will his name Ash in history? Oh, that was a very impressive move right, right there. He can get his elimination off. Pop up drop kick. Oh my god. 
slapjack drop kick and a drop kick on Robert Mortier. And now on Riddick! Oh my lord. Double boost right into the chest. Oh, this is good torture. Oh! And Grim shutting him out. Shutting down the momentum. The Grim Toy Show just pounding away on, on Smack Talks there. Oh, here we go. It's still gonna. No, he wasn't gonna go. Wait, wait, oh. wait! There goes Grim! Grim's Toy Show is out of here, courtesy of Smack Talks. Grim's Toy Show. Oh, he's not appreciative of that. These two are one of the greatest YouTubers to ever grace FAM, but Smackdown should pay attention! On there is Bandit. Wheelbarrow into an arm drag, okay. And now, these two valiant high flyers, two of the best high flyers in this industry, go and get it! This is what the rubble is all about! Oh, that spinning oh. kick by Smackdown's into a huge Spanish fly! No, 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 it, it can't be. He, he was gone. Fuck, he's back. Wait. Not just Mr. Sicko, but right next to him is one of the FAM legends, the originals. Lady BS is next to Mr. Sicko. What, what? And he has, is, is that the, is that the hardcore championship? What the, what the, what's going on here? This is a treat for me personally. I love me some sick though. I agree with the audience, but I'm just I'm flustered. What, what's going on here? I know, I know. You're all going crazy for the return of Z F A M Icon. Lightning BS. But ladies and gentlemen, there is only one man you should thank for that. And he is the man that drew the number 15 entrant. Sadly, no. I am not entering the rumble. Because I am passing the torch to someone I see myself in. I'm going to pass my strength and wisdom to someone that can afford it. Ladies and gentlemen, your Hardcore Champion, Mr. Siko. Hardcore Champion? Ah. Yes, you heard me. Your Hardcore Champion. Now, how did he get it? Well, let's just say he had a friendly exchange with Mr. Panduloso at the Mestico City Airport. <laughs> <laughs> Is he referring to Pandorino? His Excellence is going to head to the ring, clean house faster than all his maids, and headline Fam Universal. Let me get this straight. He took the championship away from Pandorino at the Mexican airport, and now he's going to go and headline Fam Anniversary? Er, uh, Ron, did you see that? Oh, yeah, I'm seeing the, re the return of Mr. Sicko. A very intense return. I don't know what else you're talking about. Oh, man, it's an East strike on Rick. Oh. Mr. Sickle's been on fire! The Spanish drug lord is back in forever a movement, and he's on a roll! Oh my, what a knee from Sicko. Sicko, impressive as always. Wait! Wait! Uh, uh, wait! That, this, this big righteous... What? What? Righteous slam! My God! He didn't tell us! He didn't tell us! He was pissed off that he did an invitation for the affair rumble, and now he's getting sicko and paying for it. He just eliminated sicko. This guy's not even in the rumble match. Ben Righteous, lighting BS though. I oh man, I now lighting BS. Obviously, I read, but he should be playing smart. Ben Righteous is about to kill this guy. He's pissed off already as this from being in the affair rumble. Now he wants more blood. Oh, but Mr. Sicko, oh, with the famous sir. On nothing but concrete. And now he's setting up for payback. He's setting up for the drug deal. Wait! Wait! He reverses it! He's gonna go for it! The big knee! The big knee! Wait a minute. Oh, wait. 
No way. Wait. No. There's no way. We have a new hardcore champion. But that, that, that's not making any sense. The rules, Rom. The rules. Slick star. I. 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 Big righteous. He's not even part of the FAM roster. And he's leaving here with one of the championships. Big righteous. It's the hardcore champion. I agree with this audience. Poor Sicko. I thought Mr. Sicko was about to have a drive and return, but instead. Whoa, 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 whoa! Smectos again. They're close to the jaws of elimination. And Reddit goes down. Underdog himself! Number 16, Sean Nova! We talk about a guy named Righteous. There's nobody more righteous than Sean Nova. He won the Royal Rumble back in 2014 and didn't even get his anniversary shot. He wants to eliminate in the following Rumble match either. So tonight is the night where it's all or nothing for Nova. He has to win it in order to claim his dream. That's been eight years in the making now. But unfortunately for Nova, it has to all begin again. And he has to claim another Rumble victory. Will he be able to do so? Oh. And he's already going to go for a small oh, Nova Kane stunner. And a pop up eight defeat. Nova's bringing in his A game tonight. And he better. And oh, there's Smack Talks. Nova Kane stunner on Smack Talks. Oh no. Oh man. Remember. Redick was the one that fired Nova after the Rumble! He deemed it too weak! Back in 2014! This is it! Oh no! Redick anticipated and he chunked down his own foot! I don't think Redick's opinion of Nova has changed! Redick was gonna go for Lisa, I think! But instead he hits a stutter! Nova can stutter! I don't think Nova is weak at all, Redick! In fact, he opened some of- Oh, he opened some of the stitches again! Wait a minute, this trainer's society is behind him! are lining up with Nova. They're going after Riddick. Riddick, wake up, man. Wake up. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Santa's out. Kazwich gets thrown overboard. Riddick is single-handedly eliminated the SCS. Before a kick, Riddick shaking his head. No, not today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Nova's dream was about to be Extinct! That courtesy of Redick, but he hung on! He has that arm bar, he's, he's working on that left shoulder, that injured left shoulder! That's a good point, Slickstar! That's a good point! Oh, and if he tripped right there, Nova would have been dead to game over! Very dangerous game that Nova's playing right now! And another stutter! Redick is still on his feet! How? That's the second one he gave to him! How? Oh no! He took him off his feet! Turn Nova Kane Stunner! Shut it, man! What? My favorite YouTuber! Fuck it, they want the train! Get back and ready for the Hawk, ladies and gentlemen! Alright, Shove It Squad, welcome to Ring of the Hawk. But before I get started wailing on these ratings killers, I got one thing to say. If you know a wrestler who could do the J-O-B to the H-A-W-K any night, any day, ha ha, then line them up because the hawk's about to run amok. Because already in front of me are not one, not two, but five jobbers. Where do I even begin? Rannick over there was banished from FAM before it even got started. And then he ended up losing tonight. That dollar store Kratos gets an F for FAM. Sean Nova, my god. If I ever have to hear another one of his CM Punk wannabe promos again, I swear I'm going to shove a cactus down my eardrums. He got fired more times than ROH filed for bankruptcy. I'll also give him an F for FAM. Smack Talks, on the other hand, barely even talks. But then when he does, he puts everyone to sleep. He does have some decent matches though, so I'll give him an E. Robert Marta, never heard of him, but he looks like a GTA 5 NPC that you can run over. Also, get some proper ring gear, this ain't the 60s. 
but he does dish out some nice looking strikes for a skinny scarecrow, so I'll give him an E. And finally, Kid Bandit, the internet darling that even appeared on AEW itself. Because it's a show for morons and marks, kind of like everyone who watches TikTok videos. And all this dork does is jump around the ring like a dolphin on acid. Just for that, I'm giving that clown an F. Absolute cringe, if this rumble's going to continue the way it is, that view count below is going to drop faster than Nick Jackson in a locker room. So I'm going to save you all from enduring any more of this crappy wrestling and throw all these jobbers into the shove-it zone. And that will be the highlight of their entire careers. Doing the J-O-B to the H-A-W-K every night, every day. And if they've got a girl, I'll make her spray. We didn't make any friends tonight. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Oh! And the hook just got stunned! And the hook just got sent flying! Mark it, they want to three, they even spent three seconds in the rumble! One, two, three, he's gone! Marky D, one, two, three, just did the J-O-B himself. I was expecting more out of my favorite YouTuber, but I guarantee you he did a lot more mental damage than he did the physical damage. Guaranteed that much, just like how Robert Martyr is took a lot of damage on Nova's chest. Ah, oh, this is my guy! He's your guy. He's your traitor, Slickback. Look, look, hold on now. He's also a good customer. And, and he, he's, he, look, he's a good human being, okay? Yeah, the same good human being that betrayed not just from Buster's trust, but the entire confidence of the FAM universe. You gotta be kidding me. Robin trusted him with the most important match for the most important championship, the World Away Championship, and it only cost Guns the title, but it cost FAM power! That's your good guy, that's your friend! I, look, you said a lot of things, I don't see anything wrong. Yeah, you don't see anything wrong, ah, oh, Slickstar, you make me sick sometimes, and I just barely knew you. His betrayal led to Guns getting injured. That's why you're not gonna see him tonight. My guy, OTP taking his time, his sweet time getting to the ring. Alvando to be have had history nearly 10 years ago with the same ring in FAM. And now OTP, of course, he's, he's gonna take his time and antagonizing and just playing with Nova. Cause you know, Nova's been here doing and putting in the work, boy. That's how OTP likes to tweet, by the way. Put in the work, boy. Okay, OTP, let's see you put in the work. Let's see you actually earn something for once, besides inheriting your family fortune. Are you going to be impressed by that? Come on now. He's getting the reps in. <laughs> yeah, the, the sad reality is that he might actually end up going to fan anniversary. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Nova reverses! He was going for a million dollar slam! But instead, his brain cells got. Oh, never mind. Come on, OTP. Come on, Nova! Stand it! No. Oh, oh, man! Million dollar slam! How could you not like OTP? He's a traitor! He's a snake in the grass! In fact, OTP should stand for one tiny pi- oh, 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 that's not very nice. Oh, the super kick! He just sent Robert Martyr flying like a dart that landed OTP's back and he deserves it. And Robert- Oh, OTP taught Robert Martyr did it on purpose. Oh! Oh, yeah. You're so almighty, OTP, with your ferocious lap of nobility, of course. Acting like some grand overlord that nobody has a right to touch him. And he's gonna go for the million dollar slam. Million dollar slam. Robert Martyr. Robert Martyr reverses it. And he derails him with a brain still. Yes. No. Oh, come on. Smack Ducks going back to work. Oh, no. Oh, oh, my, oh, God. oh, my, God. oh my God. Oh, my God. I thought I was there for it. Wait, he had to hang on using his left arm with the torn trapezius. He's gonna be so much pain! Oh no! Oh no! He has him by the goozle! Wait! Wait! Robert Martin eliminated from a choke toss by Reddick! How is Reddick doing all this? Oh, there's Bandit! Oh! And an apron DDT! By the protagonist of professional wrestling yet? Huh? Hey! <laughs> what? I'm being. I'm being told there's some scuffle going on backstage. What? What do you mean, hardcore? What? Wait, what's going on here? What's going on here? Oh my lord! Whoa! 
yard is Italian Big Righteous! Why though? Wait, wait! The other dummy! The other dummy is gonna go for the big man again! Oh, look at the strength of Righteous just hip tossing that dummy! I get it! It's because he's the hardcore champion, right? Big Righteous with the Righteous Slam! Right on two dummies! Oh, wait, the two dummies! Oh, wait, where's the. Why was that? Say, where's the big one? I got my answer! And they shuffled him with a shovel! Oh no! Oh my lord! And a choke slam! Wait! Wait! What? What? We got ourselves a, a new, new hardcore champion! Marky T! Marky T! Marky T! With a one, two, three! What? The hardcore championship! What did I just see? The hook! The hook is the champion! And he's leaving with the belt! What the hell is going on here? Hardcore champion! It's the FIM hardcore champion! What? Suicide! One of the first FAM Global Champions, a 10 year veteran, and honestly, one of the most underrated superstars in the history of this movement. Can Suicide actually make his name finally shine alongside the stars? And OTP, oh, wait a minute. OTP, Suicide definitely have history. Oh no! Why is everyone good for OTP? He's a good guy, I promise. Scout's honor. The controversial history between these two is well documented, but right now, I'm just happy to see OTP getting his ass whooped. Oh no, wait! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Smart tactic, smart tactic. Uh, smart, smart, sure, sure. Snap my DDT. No, I just I, I hate this. I hate this. What's the hate? The desperate player himself, OTP. Yeah, you know, used to be called DBS here, right? Pretentious little. Somebody just get him out of here. Somebody just... Wait, what? We know you got dollars, man, but do you even have a soul? Oh, you... This is what OTP has turned into. A narcissistic do He's making me cuss rapidly over here. I apologize. That's more than suicide would make in his entire lifetime. What? What? Uh he was gonna go low, but suicide and dissipated into it. Blocked it and kicked him! Oh, wait! Hey! OTB loves his money! He loves the color green! So Suicide just gave him more of it! Nothing wrong with that! Yeah, he likes green, but not with that! Oh, there's a friendship between these two men! Yes! OTB is so done! You jumped those shit out, guys! Celebrating with your Nova, but Redick doesn't have time for that. Redick wants to eliminate every opponent he sees his way, because there's only so much strength he has left. Oh, and then you mentioned the friendship, suicide and Nova. Suicide's not gonna let Nova get eliminated. Oh my lord, oh, but Nova's gonna do the same thing. He's still gonna let them get eliminated. Oh, super kick! Oh, no, super kick! The tandem offense between the two. The two friends there. Whoever's coming out number 20, he's gonna have to deal with Nova and Suicide as a unit. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm kinda scared. Holy hell, that's... That's creep! That's creepy! It's been well documented that he's gonna make his way into FAM, but... I wasn't expecting... This! <laughs> what is this? What is this? Very, very sinister... Very eerie entrance here.
I mean, we're two thirds into the rumble, and I think just the main event is about to begin because this one, he just shifted the entire atmosphere here in this arena. And he didn't even do nothing yet. Oh my god. I don't know what the hell he's is about to go and oh man, right oh. hook! And a dragon sleeper! Literally sensing the life out of suicide! Taking the taking the air from his lungs. And now he's gonna go in straight towards Nova! And he's still giving him that that creepy look! Wait! He's about to toss him into a power oh. bomb! Oh my god! I don't know anything about this guy. I don't know where he lives, I don't know where he sleeps, I don't know where he trades, but the results speak for themselves. He's been here for a short amount of time, a creepy has been impressive thus far. Oh wait. He's eyeing Redick. I don't know what he has in store for Redick. Redick has been through so much this entire night! And now! Wait, no! Wait! He's taking out the stitches! Oh my god! Oh my lord! No, man, look at that! The stitches are all gone! His head is draining in crimson red! Come on now! No! On that scarlet visage, Uranic! Oh! Oh! Look at that! Took him all the crimson mask! That is a well of blood right there! Stop it, creepy! Come on already! If Reddick was 100%, you damn well know he would have eaten him alive, but he can't do nothing right now! Reddick would have destroyed him, and none of this would have been happening! What the hell, man? Just, just go! Come on, creepy, you've done enough right now! The blood of Reddick literally encompassed not just his attire, but also creepy's chest! Wait, am I seeing that right? He just took a sample of Reddick's blood. What? Why? What the? Wait, wait, wait hold on a second. Wait, you can't just. What the hell was that? He just took Reddick's blood and left. Why the? Somebody. Creepy eliminated him. Even Bandit is creeped out by this. Boys! This took about an atmosphere shift! I freaking love the mafia! Big Tony! Tiny Tony! I'm just still trying to process what just happened! But the mafia, they don't care! They have the opportunity of a lifetime to take advantage of this whole entire scenario made a bad fan anniversary! Well, look what we got over here! The big bad mozzarella himself, Rannick! Oh, watch this! The Red Gorilla's got a big old bobo! Ha! Man up! That scratch ain't nothing compared to what the Don would do to us if we don't win this Wumble match! Tiny, get in there and show him how the Mafia operates! Tony, that's Rennick! And? So what if he can lift buildings and survive nukes? Look at him! He looks like a wounded puppy! God, Tony, this is deja vu. De de deja, do doja, do deja what? Deja vu, Tony. You told me the same thing with those same exact words at the last rumble, and I ended up getting a big boo boo. Don't be a smart ass, you dumbass. We need to put some gold around our familia, and the Don said that we gotta take out any man that stands in our way. But 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 Tony, Rennick isn't a man. He's a scary, scary lion. Lion? Ha! That's no lion! He's not even a cat! He's a chihuahua! A banged up, stupid chihuahua! Yeah, a banged up, stupid, dumb chihuahua that somehow gets the whole spotlight on him! Uh, Tony! The oversized rat that gets a bigger paycheck in one night than we ever got hustling in the streets of Italia! T -t Tony! The stronzo that somehow manages to get all the ladies looking at him! The giant warthog that people treat as the freaking Mufasa of the entire twist! Tony, are you okay? <laughs> what? What? 
Wait, where, where, where was I? Oh, yeah! Shut up, you bum! And go get him! Tony, I'm sorry. I, I, I just can't. Besides, wouldn't it be smarter if we, you know, just hide out here until the end of the Wumble match? It would increase our chance of winning by a huge margin. Seven, nine, three, five. Um, Tony. Zero, zero. Oh, no. Two, four, four, chef. Wait, 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 death. That's my mama. That's right, Tiny. It's your mother's phone number. We know she's on her way over here already, but I'm going to call her right now. No, Tony. Please, no. Not mama. And I'm going to tell her how her own son was scared to get in the ring because of one little man. No. Anything but that. I'm going in. That's right. Get him, Tiny. Are we actually going to save this? Oh. Tiny, with the fear of his mother, he's going after Reddick! Oh, 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 oh. That's nightmare fuel. <laughs> oh, oh my god, oh, oh my god! The Tiny just, oh, mamma mia, Tiny! Don't tell me you just, you just... <laughs> In the whole familia! In the altar! She's on her way here! And you want her to see your shit in your pants? Get back in there and squash him! I, 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 I... Oh, for the love of Jesus Christ! Sisters of Speranza! Fine! Let me show you how it's done! Erratic! That's on the mierda! I'm about to kick your culo! Tony? You big old bastardo! <laughs> Jay, how's about you put me down and... <laughs> Jesus! What the hell? Holy! i never see somebody launch another man 20 meters away! 20 meters! No, Tony! After you did it to me, Tony! I'm gonna get you for this win! Talking about elimination, Tiny wants revenge! One wait! Oh, wait! Tiny! Tiny, hang on! He's... he's getting the cat! But barely! Barely! Yeah, but this is my Tiny! Tiny's back! This is for you, Tony! The press locks! Tiny's got the press locks! Reddick! Right hand! Right hand! Tiny! Knocked out, Reddick! Oh my god! Tiny! Knocked out, Reddick! I repeat! Oh, the stutter! Pure pandemonium! Oh! Oh! And we go for one ultimate showdown! Two! An ultimate transformation! In the part of Merc, this is not the same two twisted Merc that we saw years ago. This is black and white compared to the Merc that we saw in the last Rumble. He is proving to everybody that he is indeed a changed man. And he is willing to do it all in order to not only make the event for anniversary, but also prove once and for all that he has indeed seen the light. And you know what? I'm gonna give him credit, man. He has shown me so far that he can be trusted. That's my opinion, but it's not the opinion of the man standing in front of him right now. Nova does not believe him at all. He doesn't even accept the concept of 2TM changing. As the two square off, oh wait, momentarily square off, as Bandit, Bandit! Oh, what a Nova case stutter! And it's back to Mono and Mono. We're back to the showdown between these two icons. Ah, oh, momentarily, a suicide, suicide! Suicide eliminated by Merc via Samoa drop! And there was a message sent to Nova. Oh, look at that, see, he's just teasing him after death. He knew that was his best friend, and he enjoyed eliminating him, it seems like. Oh, but no, didn't enjoy that at all. He wants payback right now. As if things weren't personal love between these two. Merck just added more fuel to the fire. Ah, oh, but he missed that shot. Just like how he missed his shot due to politics back at the anniversary tree when Nova was guaranteed a championship match against Merck. 
but now we're seeing these two collide right here as Nova hits the Saint Stars. We could have seen that at Faniversary 3 and the new world champion back then too. And Smack Talks oh. from behind. Poison Rana. I can't beat it. Wait. Whoa. Smack Talks lands on his feet after a cartwheel. Backflip. What the? Powerball wait. Erika Rana. Six. One. Nine. And now Ben is not done. Right there is Smack Talks. I can't keep up, I can't keep up, I can't keep up! I'm getting, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, with that help, that foot right there. Don't forget Smack doesn't want to do the middle rope there. So he can't be eliminated. That's a good point, Star. Neck breaker, though. Oh, man, man. Oh. Bandit, bandit! The forearm there. Oh. This is a risky move. Very risky. Gonna go for a suplex. But it's dead! Smack Talks! Oh! Oh. Smack Talks eliminates Bandit! Bandit is eliminated only! Smack Talks went through the middle rope originally! He's still in the spout! And that was the reaction! Speaking of twisted, nobody's more twisted than these schmucks! Schmucks? Luke Monet, representing the Switchblade Society. If you're a coward, that's me you're being cowardice. Of course, yeah, of course, I'm gonna take the opportunity to come in all as a huge stable. Why not? Well, hold on now. We saw this happen earlier in the match. This is smart. It's strategy, okay? Fine, yeah, fine. It's strategy. Fine, this late in the game, and after Renix has been going through hell, little hell after hell. Demon spawn after demon spawn, infernal after infernal. Now he has to deal once again with the Switchblade Society. Already dealt with them and destroyed them. If it wasn't for Red, Redick would be entering at number 30. I'm seeing a bunch of excuses. Oh, Merc, look out! Oh, with the backstabber by Nova. 2TM had his back turned and he paid the price. That's how Nova paid the price. He turned his back and his death was met with a close line from hell. Speaking of hell. Rennick experiencing hell once again, all along with Smack Talks, along with Merc, along with Nova, as the Switchblade Society invades! And Pan is now doing damage onto Tiny. Look how these guys come in and dominate. Yeah, where they come in as the three amigos, as a unit, not one on one, like how it should be. Rennick fought them all by himself and here destroyed them. And now. I mean, yeah, they've been through a match, but they certainly are fresh, especially compared to the other three, especially compared to Redick. Oh, Mark, though, rebounds with a forehead shot, and a knee strike right onto Penance. Merc, you better watch out, though. Morey, Morey, oh, what a spin-out power bomb. Yeah, oh, yeah, I bet you're so proud, Luke Morey. Yeah, 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 of course. You're the king, the Lion King, sure. Yeah, man, look. These guys together, they're nothing but... Yeah, yeah, they think they rule the world, but in reality, they're nothing but a bunch of cowards, man. That's all they are. Cowards? C cowards Look at that, 3 on 1 on Merc! Why don't you do it by yourself, buddy? Hey, of course you gotta have Padence and Ben Brent beside you. Freaking stick my cronies. Number 24 for Merc's sake, better be somebody that hates the Switchblade Society as much as I do. Ain't nobody gonna come out here to help him. The Skill Foundation! The other two members of the Switchblade Society! Oh man, do you know what's even more crushing? Is that these two used to be in a group with Merc years and years ago in the original years of FAM! The original era! But now they're standing side by side as his antagonists, as his opponents! Alongside the other three Switch Race Society members, 5 on 1, why not? Of course. Oh, this is the end for Merc. There's nothing we can do. Merc is in trouble, he's on an island all by himself. Hold on now. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 The Skill Foundation! What are you, what are you two doing? 
standing side by side with Burke! What are you two doing? Wait a minute! Wait! The Skill Foundation! There's a hair on Twitch! They've been the hair on Twitch all this time! What? The YouTuber sensations? Uh, they, those were the hair on Twitch! Those were the Skill Foundation! And they're side by side with Mark! And open breath and penance! Outside they go! Oh no! And the switchblade! The switchblade! Power out of here! Yes! The tables have turned! And so did Lubbonic Snack with the twisted reaction! Oh, what a turnaround! Thank you! Thank you! The Skill Foundation! The Hero Twins! They, they left the Switchblade Society! Yes! This is ridiculous! For 10 years, I didn't know the Skill Foundation were the Hero Twins! I, I genuinely didn't know! What I know is look Buddy is in trouble now! What I know is that this is a load of crap! And look Buddy! Son of a... It's out of here! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, what a moment! The Switch Play Society's hopes and dreams of crushing this rumble! It's officially done! What a moment! We turn back the hands of time to see the original Skill Foundation! Remember, folks, we did make the announcement that a fan was about to participate in this Rumble match. And here you have none other than Xavier Grace. This man right here is one hell of a dedicated performer, not just in the ring, but outside the ring. He trains all day, he studies all day, and not only that, he fights all day. And you know what? He's at number 25, so honestly he doesn't have much fighting to do when it comes to a time span. But the quality of the time, the amount of work he has to do, oh ho 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 ho. He's got the Switchblade, sorry, I'm sorry, they're gone. He's got the Skill Foundation, he's got Reddit, he's got Smack Ducks, he's got the whole world standing in front of him. Oh wait now, of the hair on Twitch. Oh, oh he gets nothing, oh. he gets planted. All right, that's a surprise. Jumping knees drop! Hello! Merc wasn't expecting that guy by we! What? Oh. This the current stop! He calls it a peace right here! I mean Merc wanted to make peace with the FAM guys. Well, there you go! Oh no one was going for the stunner, but he gets caught with the backbreaker! Hold on now! Smack Talks got caught by Zane! What? Oh, he's called Smack Talks! Is he gonna eliminate him? Holy heck! This will be huge for Imagine a smack toss gets eliminated by a fan! But he hung on! But Savian! Savian! Oh, he's pushing him! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! But I just can't keep up with this! Just like a smack toss couldn't keep up! I agree! This is awesome! This is too much! She can't believe the hair on Twitch! Hurt the skill foundation! Oh no! Oh, ready to play possum! Oh man! God! Good lord! Savian! Just got tossed like a ragdoll and tied oh. into stomp like one! And that was Merck's turn! Merck's going berserk again! Oh man! Oh. He just slapped the taste out of Nova's face! Not his mouth, his entire face got shell shocked! Oh no, 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 wait, 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 wait! What the hero twins? Never mind! He was trying to work on the open flesh cape of Reddit! And you know what? That's smart! However, oh no! Oh no! What? Belly to belly elimination! By Reddit! Again! Oh! No way! No way! Reddit just eliminated the skin foundation! Oh, what's this? And the debt to society by Xavier Grace taking out Reddick momentarily. <laughs> ah, of course, I forgot about these two. Never mind. The Britman, AC Arthurs, and Eric. They're part of Cameron's group, but where the hell are they? Wait, 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 wait! Oh, there they are! Save him! Turn around! No! Damn it! Oh! You see what I mean? Cowards! Every 
everybody associated with Karen, Stigma, the Sins, bunch of cowards. There you go, Mark. Take it to them, Mark. Take it to them. Ha oh, man. Oh, oh super kick. Mark gets taken down with a super trust kick right onto the jaw. And what the hell is he doing now? Oh, he's going to try and torture. Oh, of course he is. Disgusted by all this. What the hell? As the Brit men just... They're taking their time. They're taking out their opponent piece by piece, limb by limb, and even, even on, on Redick. And they're gonna do this for every single participant in the Rumble match. The last few at least. Oh, wait a minute now. Hold on. Smack Talks went through the middle rope. He went to the middle rope, folks. Don't worry. He got knocked out, but he's not out of the Rumble match. But Nova, yes. Get him, Nova. Oh, you can feel it. Nova is about to knock out the Brit Man, yes. Please, no. Can someone handle Nova, please? He's sending them with smoke. He's sending them with fire. He's sending them with brimstone. Momentarily, though. Ah, oh, come on. And just like that, the numbers game is just too much for Nova. Especially after what he's been through as well. Nova getting back up, but gets knocked back down. What a double fist to cost right on the bridge of the nose. At this point, is there anybody here that could just stand up and do something about these two idiots? Wait! Tiny! Tiny with the candlestick! Oh my god! <laughs> Go get him, Tiny! Tiny scratching them! With a kendo stick! Who taught him how to use that thing? Jesus, Christopher! Tiny! Learning what he learned from the streets of Italia! Go get him, buddy! Thought it's for Mama Tiny! She's watching you! She's on her way! Make her proud! That's what I'm talking about! Pick him up! Not this buffoon! Look at the straight of Mama's boy! Oh no, wait, wait! Wait! Shell shock! But wait! One of them is still on their feet! Oh, oh the Google stomp! Yes! King Public Enemies! The host of Family Anniversary! Okay, see this? This is this isn't fair. All three of them coming down? Oh, so now it's not fair. Ah, the contradictionary party starts. A contradiction? All right, I've been very consistent. The only consistent is the beat down that the public enemies are about to serve. The brick man. Double German suplex. Make them eat all of it. Give it to them. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. What a spear. All three of them. Hey, the numbers game has just been table turned. If that is even a phrase. But I'm making it up right now. Three on two. How does it taste, Brick Man? You know, I'm sick of your slander. How long? How long are you going to keep on insulting our intelligence? You really expect all of us to play pretend and act like these YouTubers? These toxic influencers are somehow the end-all be-all? The sad part is, we expect you to keep on doing that. Because a large majority of the world is filled with weak-minded followers. People that prefer to be lied to than live by the truth. Those few who see the light are the strong, the elite. Leaders and creators who break barriers and create the unimaginable. Yet we never get the recognition we deserve. We never get the respect we demand. We spend our livelihoods crafting our skills to impress the world, only for it to be taken over by insignificant worms. We create and strive, and you just play around on social media. But guess who gets the most attention? That's about to change. If the world is going to rotate around you, then we're going to flip the entire universe upside down. And believe me, we can do that. For I have the ability. For I am Joe Mashup. We are P.W. 
FM. Pro Wrestling Buds! Show mashup! What the? No! 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 Yes, but... But... They just got... Oh, no! As it happens, you take your eye off the ball. They have no one to blame but themselves. Oh, the public enemies took their eyes off the ball! Just like how the Brickman did! We're tiny! Joe, Joe Mashup and Pro Wrestling Mods just cause the public enemies took their shot! I'm doing it, Mama! I'm doing it! Yes, Tiny, you're doing it for Mama! Do it for us too, why don't you? Why is he still in this match? For God's sakes, he has Dookie draws! Tiny, yes! Go for it, Tiny! Back and forth! Rebut of the rebound! Squash them like the flies that. No! Holy crap! Tiny with a smart play! Eliminating! What are you guys doing? Oh my lord! Oh my lord! We got eliminated by someone who has dookie draws! Eliminate the Bridgman! Tiny eliminate the Bridgman by himself! Whoa! What? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! That's the same caravan from the previous two rumbles! Oh no! <laughs> Tiny gets limited and falls on the poor cameraman three times in a row, but pedigree! The pedigree! Saving Grace is out! Just like that poor cameraman! And just like Radic! <laughs> One of the hottest rising stars in our community! Assemble! I'm sorry, let me be more formal. Captain! Assemble! The hero of WWE Games! And you know what? We're gonna need a hero like him here tonight. Because you got Cameron's cronies, Stigma cronies, heck, the sense are running around, running amok. We need heroes, man. And Assemble is the guy. We have heroes, like Cameron Bash, like Stigma. Oh, man. Oh, no! Oh, no! The hero was about to be torn to smithereens, but it's dead! Smackdogs is the one that gets catapulted! Now look at that, you wanna talk about playing the hero part? Holy crap, the Super DDT! On to TM! And now a, a flying drum kick, superhero style on Reddick! Xavier Grace was going for a spear, buddy, Matt Metal! Nova! Try to capitalize, but instead, he gets a little bit of a confrontation from the captain himself, and the captain is a super kick! Wait! Ben! 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 Why, Ben? Ben, ben was supposed to be eliminated! Wait! Wait! Oh, uh, now I'm getting an official word that he wasn't because his foot. He went through the metal rope. Oh, now you want to be technical. Now you want to be technical. Whoever's starting this crap. We've seen people go through the rope this entire Rumble match. Uh, but then, of course, he had to run around and stay outside until near the end of the match. He wasn't hurt. He was just playing around. He was waiting around because, again, Karen Badge's cronies are cowards. The so-called Crimson Champion is a coward, man. Yeah, he's, a, he's a coward who's standing tall right now over Sean Nova. And he's setting up Nova for the devastating move. Ah! actually connected it, damn it, why? And the crows rest on Nova. Yeah, Ben can just take his time right now, because he's toying with Nova. And, come on, after a blindsided attack, which obviously, that's something he's been planning all along, and now, the plan is coming to fruition. And the worst part is we're at the end game, so Ben can win. Nova, no, 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 yes, yes, no. yes, 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 now he's officially eliminated. Don't you go, Ben! Son of a... Damn it! Oh! Wow, that was an inverted twisted reaction! And that's an inverted DDT! By Smack Talks! Rising to the opportunity, just like he's rising to the top rope! And, uh, Phoenix Splash! From Smack Talks onto Merc! Oh, but Redick, though! Redick! He's back! He's back! And Smack Talks is gone! 
Where that sleeping pill? Big sleeping pill from Rennick. Oh, wait. Sadie just came out of nowhere. Hold on now. The next one is these heads. And once again. The Peacemaker. Stomping Rennick with the Peacemaker. This would be a great opportunity to actually go ahead and finish off Rennick. But instead he's going after Nova. Wait. Started by Nova. Savior about to fall. Hold on now. Save it! Save it! Oh, he on gone! Double K stunner! A hot shot variation! Sending Sabian out of the ring and eliminated! Oh, but Rennick back on his feet already! Another stunner! Another stunner, Rennick! Rennick's eight and four stunners! What the hell? Stay down! Why don't you stay down? That is a good question, Nova! Smack talks! Two twisted murk! Sean Nova and Brennick were of the biggest names FAM has ever seen. And there are only two more set to join them, who could be coming up at number 29. And number 29, it's Pets Cry! That's right, making his long awaited return to FAM. He hasn't been here for over a decade, but now this is his chance, this is his moment. This is his ultimate opportunity to make the biggest step in his FAM career, in his entire career, but. No. No. What the? He has Pascry! What the hell happened to him? Blood all over Stigma Snuggles! Pascry! Busted off! Oh my god! What the? Pascry! Was assaulted backstage just before his entrance! By Stigma! Oh no! No wait! Oh my god! Original Sin onto the pavement on his former Team 187 tag team partner. You know what, Romare? Pat deserved this. He had it coming for 10 years. You mentioned that he is Stigma's former tag partner. Well, that so called tag partner left Stigma hang up to dry 10 years ago. This is Stigma's way of making things even. You've got to be kidding me. You're I'm being told that Stigma originally drew number 30. But that means that... What? What was... Enjoy the show, folks. want to enter this rumble this is the man that Rennick admittedly cannot beat the leader of aura the man that can reverse his way out of anything the man that's leading the most powerful army in the history of this entire industry and he's dead last and then there's stigma too oh my lord you know, it says a lot that Rannick himself admitted that he can't beat this man. Pride also admits that Rannick is physically stronger than him, but against Pride, strength barely matters. Nobody has been able to land a single move on him. What good is raw strength if you can't touch your opponent? But the FM Gladiators standing side by side, not letting Pride intimidate them in the slightest. 
<laughs> What's good, forever a mistake? We're about to get Old Testament on your punk asses. For the seven deadly sins, along with pride, it's done. It's over. Renick, bust an open torch for Pazius. Oh no! No! Brian is signaling! But the Afraid veterans! They're not letting the sense get in! Smack talks! Merc! Working together! Side by side! And. Oh my god, no! Oh my! You see that, Renick? They ran it! Uncle Tom Nova, tell that cracker to stop ignoring me! Oh my lord! What, what are we supposed to do? Greed! Greed! The biggest snake of them all! Eyeing down Renick! And Nova! Wait! Envy! Envy behind! Oh, Nova! No! And now it's going on to work! Oh, man! On to the stitches of Renick and oh, that snake! That snake! Greed! Oh, no, 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 no! You're telling me the sins are getting involved? I don't understand why they're fighting back. Just let Stigma or Pride win this Rumble match and let them hold on to the world title. Going through the tournament ain't worth it. Spec talks. Mark, oh no! His head beating the steel steps. Oh god, no, no, no! Braddock Valiant through trying to sit up. Showing ultimate resiliency, but what will it result in? Oh no! Oh yeah! Come on, Nova! Somebody, please! Oh! Merc's back! Meeting the ring post! Now, oh, Gluttony! Gluttony was still stabbed! <laughs> Tap to face. <laughs> what is that sick bastard up to? Smack talks. Smack talks. Look out. Yes. Smack talks. Yes. Drive that bastard's head into the steel. Great. You better watch out. Better watch out. And here comes Smack talks. Smack talks. So wait, wait. Oh. What the fuck? Super kick! Super kick out the envy, that punk! Holy... Pride and smack talks. I never thought I'd see this. Smack talks. The last one standing! It's... No! Just like that! Pride eliminates smack talks! Nova! Nova! Ah, oh, man! Pride! The being that can't be touched! Hey, he's, he's been reversing left and right! So it's true! Come on, Nova! Don't back down! I know you're better than that! Whoa! 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 No! 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 Nova! Yes! Yes! Get him, Nova! Get him! Stop! Stop! What? What does it take? Don't let anything on this guy! Renick! Renick! Finally eyeing down Pride! Face to face in the middle of an FAM ring! In front of everyone to see this time! Oh, come, come on! That snake! That! That! Rat! Pokers! 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 They couldn't even let Renick 
Yeah, that quote-unquote fair one-on-one with Bright. On Merka! Berg's back at the barricade. And now, Reddick's abdomen is meeting. Great kicks! <laughs> Just pure decimation on the part of the Synths. On the entirety of it. Oh my lord, the spike! You trying to stand it all way? Huh? That's like trying to correct gold. Now how about you get faded by the Lord's hand? Nova. Nova. Oh man, God, what side of slam! On the already broken body of Nova. So wait, did, 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 that's it? This is the, the result? Oh no, what are you doing? Slot, come on, this! Oh, uh, let's just get this over with. Slot, that's why now, Stable, you've done enough! Oh, uh, yeah? You've done enough! Slot! Merc! 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 Yes! <laughs> Merc, put Slot to sleep! I don't care if he didn't get hurt! He's down for now! Come on! Oh man, but gluttony and greed! Still! Merc! Put in a verdict! Twisted reaction! Get them, Merc! Get them! Twisted reaction! On greed! And gluttony's down as well! Merc with the ultimate momentum shift! Has to go face to face! With the leader now! Pride! Turn Merc! The arrogant son of a... Jesus Christopher! Even when he's sitting down, he can't be touched! You've absolutely got to be kidding me here now! What the... What the... Oh no! No, 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 no! The ankle lock! The ankle lock! Man, he's gonna break it! He's gonna twist, twist at Merck's ankle! And finally snap it in two, Merck! You gotta get off this one! You gotta get off it! <laughs> or tapped out! Don't be timid for a symbol has no limit! I may be eliminated from the match, but I will not disappear from the battle! Devious seven deadly sins. I shall protect the innocent from your wretched villains. Take this. Come on. No. 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 Jesus. Oh my. Oh, Tried once again, but to no avail! Oh my! No! The ankle lock on Nova! Come on! The superstar has to get out of this, or he's gonna end up just like my. You didn't see the day Nova tapping out! Oh my lord! Come on! Come on, Bright, let's go! Come on, you satisfied your pride once more, come on! You satisfied now, pride? You satisfied your... your... Is there anybody that can stop him? He, he can... He can show up all he wants, cause... He can back it up the most! I've never seen somebody this unstoppable before! Never! Not even Reddick! And now, Nova's feeding the pure punishment, pure force of the leader, the Seven Sins! No, 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 no! I know what you're gonna do, Bright! Don't do it! Don't do it! Nova, please don't get up! Don't get up, Nova! Himself as a as a meat shield, he's gonna sacrifice himself for. Merc, you truly are a changed man, but it's not enough. Just 
like that. Pride's not done. He's gotta go for the hands of fate. Oh. Pity. You could have been so much more. Nova, get out of there! Nova! Nova, get out! No! Nova's gone too! No! Oh, come on! So Renick is now all alone! Hey, Slow! Use your fat ass to break his pockets! Okay! Uh, 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 Pathetic, just like his mother. What did you say, Reddick? Make him pay! Get up, Reddick! Kill them! <laughs> Get him, Reddick! Yes! Make them suffer! She's the insult at free! You don't ever insult Reddick! No, you don't insult our family! Reddick just bulldozed three of the sins, and now there's two left. Sorry, Reddick. Can't let you go through a bell. Lucky you, you get to go night night. Slot, the heaviest athlete in the world, shielding pride. Can Reddick crack that shield? Can Reddick burst through him? Oh! Huh? Uh. 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 Good tire cried. You handle this. 600 pounds! He picked them up! What a third trapezius! And it eats pride alive, knowing that Rennick is stronger! And he's gonna use the strength to vanquish pride! Get him, Rennick! Renick! Renick! No no no, no! 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 Renick's eliminated! So that's it! That's it! We, we lost! We lost! <laughs> and there it is as simple as that all that time fighting so desperately to win just to fail all the same all that's left to do now is just to pick which one of us is gonna be the winner but first let's have a little fun <laughs> okay, okay. what do they want just <laughs> You're gonna be fine. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Slap. Sit, sit on him. <laughs> oh, okay. now somebody there's nobody left yo let's let pride have his smoke with this clan oh, so now now pride wants to go one on one with Renick 
What the? Oh. oh my god, what am I saying? What am I? On his traffic. Oh my god. Oh yeah! This is such, such BS! That's my, that's my freaking brother you got there, you bastard! After everything, you smug, after everything Brennan's been through tonight! A bloody battle against Stigma, starting to rumble number one, and landing two hours later, at the very end, with a torn trapezius, still tucked down three of the sins! And now Pride! Pride wants to be the one to deliver the final death nail on Redick with the same move that laid waste to Merganova. The hands of fate. Yeah, real tough guy. The message is clear. Yeah, you're the better man. Sure. Five on one. He still took out three of you with a Tortropecius and... No! No! Not on Redick! The ankle lock! Redick! Redick! 25 stitches on his forehead! A torn shoulder! 4 on 1 against Stigma and the Swift Blade Society! And then 5 on 1 against the Sins! Not even Redick! Not even Redick can go through that! Just tapped. Reddick just tapped. think you're doing destroy them the, 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 that's father I knew it. does it look like I give a damn deal with it <laughs> it's father fine I'll do it myself well, hey hey now what an, another timer myself that I wouldn't get involved tonight. I vowed that I would let the natural course of events play out. But I'll be damned. I'll be damned if I just sit on my ass backstage and let things go down like this. You want to come into my house and make a mess? Well, you're about to learn the price. People pay for that. Hey. Oh, 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 Cyanide! Cyanide the chain to whip! Oh, you got to be kidding me. This is FAM. This is forever a movement. And we're about to show you just who the hell we are. Oh, Sander! Kill Switch! They just threw out Glutton in slot! And on j 2 f and Cyanide! Going after Greed and Envy! Get him! <laughs> Get him! 
Okay, oh, you win. Just let me sleep for about just five more minutes. The leader of Forever A Movement is charging down the ring and finally enters the rumble and into the lion's den. It all comes down to this. The leader of Aura versus the leader of FAM, Rob Buster and Pride. No, no, oh! Come on, Rob. Come on! As predicted, Ron Bush has got no chance against Pride. His own brother, Rannick, can't even beat him. You think Ron is capable of eliminating this man? Come on, brother. Come on, man. Don't let them intimidate you. Don't let this guy intimidate you. Get him! Wait! Really? Really? Nothing can touch this guy? Get rich power but Rob, get up, man. Get up! You're the last line of defense. Oh. Jesus. Rob, man, Rob! Rob, don't let this guy toy you around like that. I know he's the leader of Aura, but you gotta, you gotta fight him. Don't let him hurt our home. Hands tied behind his back. Don't let him show you off, Rob. Oh, what? Yes, Rob. From behind, GTS, GT, G, G, get the hell out of here. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh no, no. From shield yourself, man. Shield yourself. Don't let him. Don't let him. Oh, oh my. Don't fight. He... He... No, man. No, he just. Come on, he ain't luck. No, not like this. Wrong. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of that. He may be the untouchable one, Rom, but you gotta fight him! You gotta fight him! Be the leader you were meant to be! Prevent this from happening! Get out of there, Rom! Get out! I don't believe that. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe any of this. Really? There's nothing we can do against this guy. There's nothing we can do against the sins. We can't prevent this. Is this the inevitable result? Oh no, no, my God. Rob. Rob. Rob's legs just gave out. That ankle lock tore his ligament. No, the, the hands, the, the hands of fate on Rome Buster. Oh no, he's gonna go for this seat. He's gonna go for Lisa. He's gonna go for Reddick. No, Rome, get out of there, man. Get out. Hey, hey. GDS, G, GDS. He, he struck right. X-ray! X-ray! Rob! Oh my! Rob! He struck the man that can't be touched! Oh! And this is the same way he beat Frederick back in anniversary 4! The super pedigree! The super pedigree! Get it, Rob! Get! What? Damn it! Damn it! No! Rob! Hang on! Hang on! No! 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 Frederick! Hot shot! Hot shot! Wait! Pride! Pride's eliminated! Ain't no way, man! Ain't no way! By Reddick's brother! How? Reddick! Eggie got Pride! Oh! Through the barricade! 
Now Redick is one step ahead of you, you bastard! I hope you like the taste of your own medicine, you- I told you it was inevitable! Stigma! St Stigma won! Stigma is headed to Famniversary! The King, you won! How did that happen? From Eliminated Pride, and then this. this snake! This littering bastard just came from behind! And eliminated Rom! Wait, what? Nova! 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 Stutter! What's going on? Wait, oh, what? Nova, I'm gone! How, how is this going? I do not know how, nor do I care how, but Nova's still in this match! And Stigma, Stigma cut Nova! No! Oh, my, oh, both, both competitors hanging on! This is it! This is it, folks! Stigma dodges! Nova does too! Who's gonna fall? Who's gonna go down? Nova, let's on his feet! I refuse to believe this! Shut up! The superstar is gonna headline Famniversary 5! From the ashes of despair to the dread of betrayal at the dark ages known as AWOL, all the way to the battlefield against the seven deadly sins tonight, Shonova becomes the first ever two-time FAM Royal Rumble winner! And now this time, his chance to clash for the scepter of this movement is guaranteed. And speaking of the seven deadly sins, Pride was about to finish off Shonova and it was thanks to the heart of a man, a changed man known as Merc that represents the foundation of this movement, sacrificed himself in order to save Nova. But in the process, ended up costing him his own spot, his own shot at the title at Famniversary 5. Pity, you could have been so much more. And this is where the dread truly became reality. What a waste. As Pride eliminates Merc and proceeds to then eliminate Nova, hi, hey, speaking of, yeah, let, let me see that one. Nova, Nova's body landed on the barricade. His feet never, they never touched the floor. Oh, what do you mean his feet didn't touch the floor? And after that, pride lands the devastating Lisa on Rennick and disposes of Rennick. All that's left to do now is just to pick which one of us is going to be the winner. But first, let's have a little fun. <laughs> and Renick... Renick had to endure... ...and suffer more punishment! By the power of the Holy Spirit, I'll send this beard to him! And then, yeah, it was once again a numbers game against Renick. And this is where we all believed, I at least believed, that Renick's spirit was broken. But thank God, thank God, I was wrong. Thank God, Renick somehow, someway managed to get up after everything, everything that happened tonight and help Rom. And speaking of help, then this happened. The man that created Aura and then later brought all the four founders together BH, Andy Badwell, Guns, 
and Drenik all trained under his roof before creating the empire known as Forever a Movement. Ain't no way. Father protecting Renick and Pride not doing a damn thing. He's afraid of this man. What the hell do you think you're doing? Destroy them. The, 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 that's Father. Does it look like a give a damn? Deal with it. Fine. I'll do it myself. And then the sins and stigma were hit with another major surprise. You, you know this BS, right? and general manager of Pereira Movement, Ron Buster, enters this battle and leads in his own army. And this is the moment where Mark was to the end. He helped Nova. He picked up Nova and carried him back in the ring without his foot touching the floor. And that, how smart was that? I'll be damned. I'll be damned if I just sit on my ass backstage and let things go down like this. This is FAM. This is forever a movement. And we're about to show you just who the hell we are. And it was then where the Straight Edge Society, Killswitch, Sander, J2F, Cyanide, and that Rob Buster went against the Sins. But it was not an easy challenge. As a matter of fact, the uphill battle had totally just begun. Especially for Rom, literally with pride, breaking not only one of his ligaments, but also nearly shattered the FAM spirit from Rom Buster. And along with the hands of fate, the same move that beat Drenik 13 years ago. It was nearly a done deal, but then Pride did one fatal mistake, one fatal mistake. He forgot that Rom Buster also beat Drenik. Back at Fanniversary 4, and speaking of Fanniversary 4, this was the same way with the reversal of Lisa to the X-Ray to then what would have been the Super Pedigree. It was like we went back in time, but then Pride shattered the clock. And again, living up to his name, the man that can reverse anything escapes his fate. But momentarily, as Reddit got back up and ate it from Buster, and help his brother eliminate his arch nemesis and protect FAM. And then the slithering bastard Stigma picked up the bones and we all believed that it was over. But then the superstar uses his light to shine the beacon within this movement and take out Stigma, but not before, not before going through one last battle against the leader of the Switchblade Society. And it was truly a fight where every limb and every ounce of strength within each cell of their bodies had to come through. And maybe thanks to Renex dominating beatdown on Stigma earlier tonight, it gave Nova the opportunity to outslitter that snake and win the Royal Rumble! And sealing away not only the darkness within the Rumble match, but also gain the light that will shine through his road towards Famniversary. Oh, hold on now! Pride! Pride! He's flustered! He, he's getting beat up already! Get him ready! That's what losing feels like, Pride! And that's what getting your ass headed to you feels like as well! Rom! Rom with a chair! Eyeing down Stigma! You know what you have to do, Rob. Get him! Don't let him escape! Rob Buster going after the Switchblade Society leader. As Nova takes his place amongst the stars, Sean Nova is heading to Famniversary. Oh, what the? Karen Bash! Bash, sending a message. The world champion, blindsiding the now number one contender. 
This has been a long time coming between these two. Can the rising superstar topple over and finally burn the throne of that devious king? I know our sides haven't really gone off to the best of starts, but after what took place tonight, I believe we have a common enemy that I think both of us could benefit from the mutual destruction of. You want to see FBM gone? You want to see all these problems go away? You take care of father, and we'll handle the rest. <laughs> handle the rest, will he? You wait and see, Stigma, for what I have in store for you at Famniversary! <laughs> <laughs>